Oh, you could talk. Right. They're streaming though. They can oh, hear us. Oh, wait a few. Look at this big blueberry fruit roll. What the fuck? What is that? <laughs> it looks like linoleum. <laughs> no, the, my manager, she put that on there. You, you put it on someone's chair so they don't slide out. Yeah. But she put on it. But she put a little note on there. Enjoy the fruit roll up, because <laughs> it's on like the, the paper that you got to pull apart. Oh, just like God. a fruit roll up. <laughs> Seriously, I can't get real. Funny. Joey Cage. I feel like I'm waiting for an Iron Maiden concert to start. <laughs> You got that straight, Joe Cage. Oh man, we should play the uh, the music, man. We're, we're, when, we're when, just we should play Churchill's speech. To, <laughs> we're giving people a few to roll on in. Look what I had to swab a wound with today. Swab a wound. Yeah, this guy had this wound that is oh. trying to take a culture of it. No, it was delicious. Daybreaker, boom! No late for this one. Not late for this one. No, you're not. Oh, you can't say that. That's somebody's personal information. How come it's not coming up on my thing though? Yeah. We are live though, so that's good. Holla. Holla, man. Holla, holla. We going live. And all you people see us live. Why ain't it showing up, though? It ain't showing up on my feed. It should start off going. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> talking all kinds of weird languages. Yeah. People are like, what, what, what are you talking about, man? What are you talking about? This, song, this movie was something else. I'll be starting any minute, man. 80s horror fan is the guy drunk? Is this oh, guy man. drunk? I don't know, John. Are you drunk? <laughs> nice to see you all in the chat. If he ain't, he's got almost three hours to get drunk while we talk about <laughs> this movie. Yeah, we'll be here for three hours, guys. Love it or not. We'll Haven't we here. done longer podcasts than that? We've done longer podcasts Yeah, we've than done this. some long ones. This man. ain't shit. To live stream instead of the Iron Maiden's two minutes to midnight. Uh, there you go. Two. Uh, I hope that minutes. one dude don't have that Superman shirt on. <laughs> oh. Ted came out of the car and I said, "What the hell are you doing?" He's in a shirt? jacket, sweats, everything. I'm, I'm shorts and I got no jacket and... on. That's a jacket. Why ain't it showing up live on my thing? Well, I, I know it's live here, so well, you've got bad equipment, man. Uh, what's going on? Everything that you have is wrong. Is this showing up in your YouTube thing, Ted? I don't even. We, we got two I don't minutes. even subscribe to our channel. We, we got. <laughs> you're not subscribed to our channel. I don't know. Am I? Come on. What's going on, uh, Joey Cage? I love when R Ted shows off the goods. Lots. Of, he was just showing them. I, well, we were worried nobody was going to show up because you know there's boobs. probably some hot chicks out there doing a show. So <laughs> I thought maybe if I just showed the tits the whole show. Maybe, reviews, hell, maybe we can get some of them over here. Reviews from the beyond, nice. Yeah, join us. Some of those chicks might be chubby chasers. I'm a catch. Let me tell you something. Oh, God. I'm very attentive. It says video output is low. Uh, no, I'll, I'll no. ignore it. Hopefully it's fine. Hopefully you guys can see it fine. Video output is Ted should low. have his own apparel for sale, just saying. <laughs> Your Joe, own Superman Can they see us now or no? Um, they can hear us but can't see right, us? Right I should just turn around and let you see how the back is all ripped up. I mean, well, maybe when um, the countdown's done. How many holes are on the back? Maybe when the countdown's done. Is there like Ooh. three holes in that thing? Yeah, you know what? Ted, the back of that shirt is about to disintegrate. Because when I go to pull it off, it just rips <laughs> The back of Ted's shirt is about to disintegrate. Oh, my back gets all sweaty. Literally disintegrate. Uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's unreal, man. You know I'm going to get saying? my own show. That's what I'm going to do. You're going to get your own show. That's right. I'm going to start my own show. Oh, the Dino and Ted show. They, they are live. Uh, how, how crazy is that? That's awful odd. Oh. Uh, that's odd. 48 seconds. Holy crap, it's the countdown Why are you making on? them wait? They can hear us, man. Let's just get started. Oh, this is our BS session. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, let me pull up the... Uh, well, like in the regular talk shows, when, you can, when it looks like they're talking, but they're probably not. <laughs> you know, like on the Ellen show or something, when they go to commercial and they're... This is going to be epic. Yeah, three hours long, man. I hope I can... For this... Well, we can always make it through a good all long Hey, if not, period. I can tell you about my day at work and, and everything that I did, man. So. But it's dark. Uh, we'll show you the goods in a minute there, uh, Joey Cage. Come on, man. Just, just be patient, dude. Uh, 12 seconds. <laughs> Uh, reviews from the beyond I can see though guys just fine cool after the countdown it will not be as dark that's right and two and one, now we have and it should be eternal sunshine yeah there we go hey <laughs> welcome to the Dino and Ted show 
Yes, do you know? Um, yeah, this is Ted, and yeah, True. We, we promised I'm you. I'm the sexy one. Uh, and, and, well, first of all, welcome everybody in the chat. Uh, I see that we got uh, 80s horror fan, Joey Cage, Reviews from Beyond, Dan Breaker, all the usuals. Thank you guys for showing up. Where's the chicks? This is going to be this is gonna be epic. Yeah, we're pulling in chicks for Dude, this show. Dude, you guys got to bring the hoes. Uh, bring the hoes <laughs> to the chat, yo. Do it down low. Get wait what? It's the only, it's the only no, way we can get anywhere. Hey man, th this is going to be epic. Uh, we're going to do a full on commentary on this. I uh, had to man. Th this movie got you young, I, I, didn't it? I love this movie more than Hereditary. Uh, this I movie, hope everybody saw it. I mean, maybe not the director's well, cut, I mean, but I hope you got to see it in the theater. It was if, out for two weeks. Yeah, I, I, I'm going. To, yeah, spoilers. I mean, it's a commentary, <laughs> but it is the director's cut we're doing. So there's an extra 20 minutes, two hours, 50 minutes that's included in this. And I tell you, man, it, it still went. And by. this is all you've seen. You you never saw. I the didn't original, see the so. theater cut. I so now imagine taking a big chunk cut. of it out and saying you can't watch that. Uh, I can't see even as long as it was. Did not feel that long. Even though it moves slow. It's, it, it just moves builds slow. and builds and builds to such a cool the story, yeah. wish fulfillment ending. And not supernatural. That's, this is real life, man. This is people. This is humans. This it's is people. what they it's do. This is, this is a cult. This it's is, not a cult. It's just a, it's a, mm, it's a people. It's a that, cult, it's dude. A, no, it's, just, it's a pagan society. And <laughs> once, a cult. once every 90 years, okay, they do this. Chad. See, now the thing is, the, the 90 year thing is what comes at the very end. That's what they do every 90 years. Yeah. All that other shit that happens, yeah. like the cliff and all that, right. that's status quo. You hit 72, you're up there. Okay? Oh, yeah, no, we'll yeah, get to so. that. Yeah, there's there's a structure, uh, there's a time limit for your life on this movie. So you know. But, but again, uh, well, real quick, uh, 80s horror fan, um, John says, um, uh, th there'll be no girls with that shirt. Why not? But um, yeah. Can, can, can you turn around? I don't know if they can see all the holes in there. Let me see. You gotta see Ted's shirt. Yeah. Can, can, is can it showing you, up? Do I need yeah, to stand? You should be able to see. All right. Uh, he's he's got holes. Yeah. See that? Yeah. The, the, it's, oh, it's, and, and and I've sewed the straps because they've. It's ripped. disintegrating, man. <laughs> it is disintegrating. But um, yeah. I wear it for our, for our listener. Because he, he loves it so much. Yeah, I feel like I use that shirt. I man. actually have a late, late horror show t shirt from, from that you era do. of our. And you never wear our, it. You put this one I on. I know. But, you know, this. I feel like this is my uniform, my Tuesday uniform. I take off my, my nursing uniform, I put this one on. <laughs> if it's better than Hereditary, Joey Cage says, I got to watch it. I got Oh, my to. God, dude. Yes. Oh, yeah. Joey Cage, man. Hereditary. Uh, loved the movie, We're too. We're going to spoil the hell out of it for Hereditary you. Hereditary Supernatural a bit. Um, this one, all on, all on cult, real life. You know, there's nothing supernatural about it. It's just the nature of what goes oh on God. in these little pagan societies, these little... Think, yeah, Ted dropped something. Oh, if you could see the scene, you guys, with him bending over. Hey, and if you're on iTunes listening to us on the podcast, as always, you, you hear us talking to the chat. Um, it's, it's because we're live on YouTube every Tuesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, so come over here if you want to check us out. Um, otherwise, just listen along, and uh, I'll let you know when the movie starts. But, um, yeah, what more? Ari Aster, Ted, we have... Somebody bring on yes. the movies. I'm waiting for him to do a slapstick Ari comedy. Aster. That's bring on the movies, damn it. Yeah. Well, he's got uh, from what I've read, he's got ten scripts in, in the book. And these were two of them in the book and the and filing that he wants to do. So he's got he's got shit out. There. He's got shit, you know. Well, and I, I don't think it'll wait. always be horror or horror tinged. He's got other ideas too. Yeah. Um. I, I don't. I mean, it doesn't I, even have to be a horror. He does, I think, but he's almost Kubrickian because you have to watch his films. Right, it's got a, a couple of times. There's layers. You there's said comedy, you though. I'm not well, sure. Kubrick did I a comedy. See. Well, yeah, that's true. A Doctor dark Strange comedy. Loved, um, some other and yeah, yeah hell, no, even parts right. of Lolita were kind of funny. Yeah, no, so, you're right. You're right. You're right. So um, let's see. Yeah, so I guess we'll just get into it and get yeah. started, right? Yeah, uh, let's let's just fire it up yeah, and, and we'll BS along the way with you guys and have some fun. Uh, and I don't even mind watching love. this movie again because yeah. this is easily going to become one of my favorite movies. 
tell you, man, full core, and we'll talk as the movie goes along. See, but... he, he, what do you? It's, now it's a quadrilogy. It used to be the Holy Trilogy. Now it's yeah. going to be a Holy Quadrilogy. Quadrilogy, yeah, because so. this has got to be included. It's really this good. Is, yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, not so he's a, as okay. good as Wicker Man. Oh, no, 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 no. But, and we'll talk about Wicker yeah, Man, we'll, I'm we'll, sure. We'll, we'll talk a about lot it. of people, I think, unfairly. Yeah, there's... But Eyes Wide Shut was a comedy, says John. Oh, my God. <sighs> <laughs> I don't know about that. but um, I loved Eyes Wide Shut. I loved Eyes Wide Shut. And um, I love it more every time I see it. Yep. Like you said, especially. I mean, the I just wish it hadn't been messed with because I know the studio messed with that movie. Yeah, I'm yep. sure they did. But there's a lot of things you can find after repeat viewings, and, and Ted will be talking about some of them. But yeah, a few hidden things, and mostly you just got to pay attention to the tapestries. You Three, pay attention to the I'm tapestries. Start the movie. Oh yeah, here we go. Three, two. One. There we so go. I press play, and it one. came out so on Blu-ray go. today, the theatrical version. And if you uh, redeem the digital copy, at least on iTunes, you'll get the the uh, director's cut that you can watch at home only digitally. Now, if you pay yeah, attention the, to the opening tapestry here, yeah. this will pretty much tell you the whole story of the movie. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, That's what's you have cool the, about the, the parents opening. and the sister mm -hmm. dying. You've got uh, you know the boy, you know what should be Christian and and um, what's her nuts, Danny. Danny. You've got all the characters there going to the village, going through, and oh, I will see. That's the problem when you go see it at the theater. You can't pause. But that tapestry kind of just tells the whole story. Tells the whole story, yeah. It's laid or out. It gives it to you in, in X how it'll happen. And go straight to like a winter scene, which is very dank and not so pretty. Yeah, it was uh, little filmed in Utah, uh, same as Hereditary. Okay. It was also filmed in Utah. Ari Aster, um, he's, he's got some chicks I don't think up he's there. from Utah. Maybe, it's, maybe he's just getting a good tax credit from going out there. Oh, well, I, I believe so. But yeah. He's got a good eye. Yeah, I mean, so. you know, the, the shots he does, even some of the creative ones that are kind of... And I noticed them from watching Hereditary so recently. Yeah. And then watching this, you know, he likes that upside down kind of bring you all the way around in a circle shot. Right. He likes that. Yeah. And no, that's no. okay. Like I said, Ari Aster. Just don't do it this in the is, next movie, maybe. This is this is a guy who, finally, I, I think I, I hit on somebody who really writes you're and welcome. directs. You're, yeah, no, thank <laughs> you welcome. very much. <laughs> really puts, has an eye and has a vision and puts you in the mood and the spirit of everything he does. I love you know, the so combination far, of writer-director. Right. You know, I like when somebody well, that's when you know that you writes really their got material an artist, and, you know? and yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. you got your David Lynch's and you, you know, I mean, even as great as a director as Hitchcock was, he didn't write the majority of the movie. I don't, I don't know if he wrote any. Well, he wrote some. Brad, what's up, Bronco Brad. Juggalo talks movies. That's right. What's up, man? Look We're at all talking the photos here, and you're gonna hear uh, talking mid voices on the answering machine now. Midsummer. Midsummer. Now look, you're gonna notice here in a moment. It was actually filmed in the flats in Cleveland. <laughs> I don't think so. I'd have been there. Yeah, I would have been there too. So we're panning all over the bedroom. Now notice, you know, even the wallpaper are those summery flowers. Now look. Yeah. Right there on the table above her picture yes. is a halo of flowers. Halo of flowers. And that scene. What the hell are they may, doing there? Well, it can serve two purposes. Okay. Now Danny's trying to call because she got a cryptic message. She's the main female character. And she got from a her crypt sister. from her sister who's bipolar and borderline mentally ill here. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about Danny in a minute. We'll have lots of time here. But I think those flowers, yeah. which I didn't notice the first time I saw it. Right, See yeah. that? It, and it's foreshadowing. You watch it, you don't think a damn thing of it. Mm -hmm. But when you go back and watch the movie again, you're like, oh, those flowers. Right. Because she, Danny, will be wearing a, a halo of flowers, a crown of flowers. Well, it's all part of the ceremony. But and, and when they get the to point Sweden, that but... I think when he puts them there, yeah. says one of two things. What? One, it's it's over her picture. It's foreshadowing, telling right. you what's going to come. Right. Or the more sinister idea that could be put in your head okay. is maybe this Pella guy along with the, the family that he lives with, maybe they were somehow responsible for the death of her family in order to put things in motion to get her to come. Okay. Possibly. No, I mean, you know, with you're, anything. You're never told anything. I mean, because even when she says she's going, he, he later on he says to her, you know, um, you were the one I was looking most forward to coming. Right. I mean, they just found out about it. When they were sitting right there, how does know, he know? know? Yeah, like, like, see, I mean, it opens with that that dark, you know, view going through the house, mm -hmm. uh, and their parent, you know, the phone's ringing, 
but the parents are still in bed sleeping. So you hear called. her voice on the answering machine. Yeah. Why aren't they getting up? Why aren't they Why answering? Why aren't they answering? Why aren't they getting up? What's going on? Why is this happening? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and she's very distressed, you know, uh, Danny is, the, right. one of the main characters. Did they show who, the email? They did. She's reading her sister's yeah. email where it says, her sister says something to the effect, I can't take it. Mom and dad are coming too. You know, this is it. Yeah. Goodbye. Uh, sorry, Brad said, are, are you guys discussing another boring Ari Aster film? <laughs> oh! Brad, that's come a, on. That's a bold statement, Brad. But, uh, that's bold statement, Brad. He, yeah. <laughs> there you go, there you go. He the answer some to int- your question is yes for the next two hours and 50 minutes. <laughs> right? Um, but yeah, the emails, the sister. Um, and So that's got her worried. You know, and that, you get was... you get the first glimpse of Danny's character, and you could tell she's going through a lot of shit. Which she seems really isolated. Ha- seems like she doesn't really have much in the way of friends. Well, and this is what plays into the whole cult atmosphere. Mm-hmm. You know, somebody who's you know just I love don't, how you don't say have... cult because I didn't really know. I don't know if I want to call them a cult. I'm calling it that, Ted. I mean, they're a there's a they're they're a a, a, a pagan society that practiced the old ways. Many different but pagan does that make them a cult? Can, yes, can become. I mean, it, they practice the religion that they've always practiced. It doesn't not, mean it can't be a cult it, from the beginning. I mean, if, you, I if you're performing rituals, you're bringing people in as sacrifices. Okay, okay? You, you're coercing people so, because Danny so and Christianity. The rest of, yeah, you know, Christianity is a cult because they coerced people and. <laughs> They perform rituals. They do ritualistic uh, cannibalism every Sunday at Mass. Catholics do anyway. <laughs> I, I won't uh, argue the point with you, but yeah, I mean. Uh, okay, so okay, so we got so it's all cults. They're all cults. Okay, so as long as we call every religious institution a cult, then I'm cool with it. I'm surprised you're not understanding about the whole. No, I understand cult. what you say, but I mean, it's you just it, it's these people. Well, these cults I view as say like. These kids were, you know, the Manson family or the Jonestown family. Same thing. They were all. But these were people that came to a magnetic leader, you know, a charismatic leader. So there's no charismatic leader. So your thought here. I think that's just the way they live. That's just their thing. Their beliefs. That's as much of a religion to them as Christianity is to Joe Schmo on the street. Listen, bringing in Danny Christian. um, That's their that's their way. Uh, Josh, you know, the other ones, you know. Yeah. I'm going to look up No, cult. no, what were you thinking they were going to do just, with them? I just don't use the word cult. You, oh, you, I know damn well what they're going to do. Okay. But I don't know if I just, I'm not going to argue And in the them. end, which I'm not going to say yet. Okay, okay. What well, happens see, it says a relatively Danny, small group of people having religious beliefs or practices regarded by others as strange. Okay, I'll, I'll accept it. <laughs> I just, you know, I just so, didn't so accept Coming it. from somebody who has watched so many uh, docudramas on, on, you know, serial killers. I don't know, they killers, just seem like such nice uh, people. Uh, they... <laughs> <laughs> sure they do. I mean, I mean, up until you get to like 72 years old, they're pretty cool. <laughs> there's, lots of, there's lots of interesting shit that the society itself... Would be intriguing and interesting. Holy shit, down to four. Yeah, yeah. People really interested in this one. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> where the hell? Here we go. A few um, of you went over to the Chicks website there. Yeah, it could Watching be. some hot chicks, maybe. <laughs> could be. Either that or porn. Oh, my God. But, um, yeah, we're introduced to uh, the whole group of characters. God, can't you keep your window open so it at least <laughs> shows that you're in there and just open up another browser? <laughs> Can you? Uh, God, you jackasses. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Boost our morale. Right. Uh, well, Look, here, even Dino's talk, talk watching about, another show talk, now. Talk about what's... <laughs> talk, listen, talk about what's going on here right now. All right. Danny calls her boyfriend Christian. Right. Um, and says, hey, we're going to... You know, what are you doing? He's, he's, and this all... Or, he's smoking re- some bud with his friends. And we'll revolve around Christian, right? Yeah, he looks like Star-Lord. I'm going to call him Star-Lord for the, for the movie. Star-Lord? Yeah, from Guardians of the Galaxy. He's, okay. he's Star-Lord. Okay. Um, <laughs> that'll bring them all in. He don't look like Star-Lord. He does. Yes, he does. He looks exactly like Christian, that Christian, played by Jack Renner. Right, yeah, Star Lord, that guy. Okay, well, yeah, if you say he looks so. exa- that's the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy. That's Ted, why I like this. Ted movie. doesn't call anyone cults. 
<laughs> so remember year of the comet? I said cult. He said government. This movie is a cult. <laughs> <laughs> Ted don't like that word. <laughs> I have a problem with the word cult. <laughs> But we, oh, we get a little foreshadowing. Uh, of, this ain't no foreshadowing. This, well, is, no this foreshadowing. is the hell what happened. Yeah. Uh, she calls Danny to tell him, hey, my sister left me another email. It's, it's all cryptic. He's trying to blow it off a little bit. And maybe not necessarily wrongly saying, you know, she does this all the time. But, you know, she didn't read him the email. This one was really bad. But I guess evidently he's been dealing with this crap for a while. Well, yeah, the conversation at the table with his friends were that, you know, so when are you getting rid of Danny? Right, especially this yeah. douchebag Mark. We've heard enough of... You know, when you... Man, you could be plowing this waitress over here, you know, or plowing that lady right, you know, at the, I guess Danny at the don't, jukebox. Don't give a little uh, too too often. I don't know, man. She, uh, she's beautiful, man. I'd, I'd, she like, to, I'd like to hold her close to me. She, she's very cute. But look at this girl. She ran these hoses up from the car. Well, what do, what do, yeah, they get they yeah, jump to the scene, scene of, of the, the house where the parents were. The, the fire department's opening up the house. Um, Duct tape on all the cracks. The hose going from the cars that are running in the garage. So everyone in this house has died of carbon monoxide poisoning. And right. they do make sure that you get a good look at their faces because you will see them again. Glimpses. But yeah. let's take a look at the sister. And For this is important to, to watch this part too because yeah. she's going to show up like this again a couple times. Yeah. Hose goes all the way and she's got it duct taped all to her face. But she thought this out, though, man. She, I mean, to buy all that long hose, where, where are you getting hose like that? I mean, that? can't you find a, mark? a bridge to jump off of? you got to take every motherfucker with you? Well, evidently she had issues with her parents, so... Oh, you think? Well, yeah. I, I mean, mean you want to do yourself in, that's fine. Just, you know, do it, but don't be messy. Do it, but that's don't what screw I it. You know, but there you go. So, uh... Yeah, We're all and, caught and a up. very ho ho ho. A very disturbing scene. Though. It is, I man. Mean, yeah. You know. Oh, I, I got to tell my little story while we. And the we, music too that's going on. But yeah, go some ahead. Cool, there is some really cool music here. Oh well, I guess we got to talk about this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, she's she called Christian back on the phone, screaming basically. So he's got to leave the pizza joint. Ooh, there's some run over there. Tapestries yeah, I mean, yeah, on the yeah, wall even here the, too. The, the the painting over there with the suns. Yep. And and this is Danny's I don't know apartment. That, yes. And. Even there, you're seeing some glimpses of like the sun and yeah, the moon. Looks and like some, some girl f frolicking through flowers. Yeah, so there's stuff on there too. I and mean, I don't know, you know if we saw it already, or maybe we see it later. There's one she's got of a bear, because the bear is gonna. Okay. Yep, yeah, she's got one of a bear. Bear, yeah. Um, a big part. In so this. he he's yeah. You know, it's like he's he's holding her, but he's not even really comforting her. Bowling, he's very bold. They've been together, we'll find out, for about four years. Four years. And in three months he's and very, I think seven hours and two minutes. Yeah, she's got it down. That's what she said. They're very, um, he's very emotionally distant. Down to three. Down to three. Oh, boy. If we get down to <laughs> oh, numbers, we gotta just stop quitting. counting numbers. Let's just go. People, will, people will come back and watch it. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. What, she, he's, we'll just watch the damn Christian's movie. consoling. Um, sort of. I mean, she's. Danny. I mean, I don't know. He just. He's kind of just staring off like he'd rather be somewhere else. Yeah. You know, anywhere else but here. Why well, do I have to hold this bitch? I mean, is it, <laughs> is it okay to say throughout the whole movie, I mean, it, it, he continues to... He's not a horrible guy, but he's not a well, good boyfriend. He's not a good boyfriend, and he certainly don't he, care enough for her. No, no. No. They have grown apart. Yeah. But now, because say some time has passed, the weather's cleared up. Where it was winter before. There's a difference between holding and comfort, says uh, 80s horror fan in the chat. You are correct. You're right. Oh, here's the picture I was talking about. Oh, yeah, the bear. The see? bear. Yeah. Girl facing the bear. Um, now, because of what's happened, mm -hmm. she really doesn't have any support system. No, Obviously, no sister, but definitely yeah. no mother and father either. Right. So, so she's, she's just grasping at anything, and he's the only thing she can grasp on to. Yeah. This is a, and really the core of this film is about a relationship that is just falling apart. And according to Ari Aster, he was going through a breakup when he was writing this. And the end of this film, even though it's from a female perspective, is sort of some wish fulfillment. Sometimes when you go through a bad breakup, mm. you just wish for something. You know, just, something real man, evil I, to yeah, happen. And that's sort of what happens. Yeah. Not yeah. sort of. That is, that is what, what happens. happens. Yeah. He, um, it's complete wish fulfillment. And. Really, I mean, even though people... I think, personally, there's very little horror in the film. Mm -hmm. um, but it builds up to this eerie, uncomfortable thing at the end here. And it becomes horror. But a lot of the film is not. Well, yeah, it's it's drama, mystery, suspense. Right. But at the core of it is but that relationship you, that's falling apart. And she has no one else to grab onto. The and that's the only reason why they're together. 
Right, right. You know, I think if this hadn't happened, he probably well, would have broke up with her. Well, yeah, it, because they were pushing that, you mm-hmm. know, to, to break up with her. But, um, but, but I think as soon as they hit Sweden... I mean, you're full core all the way. I mean, from that point forward, they're things out, get awkward. They're outside all little the time by little in increments. With with in awkward. increments, increments. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, it doesn't build up to like you know. I I mean I mean it gets deeper. It's and a deeper nine day festival. We don't get to see what happens every day. The festival day. stuff like that, but yeah. Um, you know, but after after the cliff day, I think I, I would have took off. Like okay, I'm you know. Yeah. I wouldn't have told nobody either. I'm yeah. out. <laughs> hey, <yeah>. I'm outie. <laughs> I'm not. But they're at a party. They are at a party. Um, and this is where he's with his college chums. They're, a couple of them are studying anthropology, going for their doctorate. Uh, Danny, him and this character Christian, named Josh. Pele. Mark. Josh, Mark. Yeah, Pele. Yeah. And um, they're talking about, and Danny's hearing this for the first time, about going to Sweden mm-hmm. for... What is it? Uh, a a, a month, month and a, I think a month and a half. Month and a half. And, and well, I don't know if it's just Sweden, but they're certainly you know to view midsummer festivals in various countries. Yeah. Uh, especially this fellow named Josh, Josh. Yes. Is very. This is really what he's focusing his dissertation on. Yeah. And you know she's hearing about it for the and first Christian time. Christian like, don't oh, really, really know what to do. Here. And he's just like, yeah, but you know that's even if we go and. Yeah, you know, I'm probably not. Yeah, he's beating around the bush saying, you know, yeah. Right, when damn sure well he's going. going on, yeah. So they get back to their apartment, and she's not even that mad. He's just no. getting very defensive. Yeah. She's just like, oh, I think it's a great idea. I would just wish you had told me. Why couldn't we have talked about it? And he's, he wants her to be gone, man. You know, and but, you know, but, she but, says, but, you know, you have a ticket already. You know, you, you bought a plane ticket, but you're going to tell me you're not going to go. And uh, what's going to happen is, and actually this is a part that's extra yeah. in, the, in the film. Um, of them in the um, not apart- this, apartment. but when he when he says to her, "Well, I was going to invite you," it's a surprise, you know, it's going to okay. be romantic, but you screwed it up. That that was not in the theatrical one. When, I could, when, when he said that part, I can see why they took that part out. Yeah, because it it's like he tried to play like it, it did, off. It didn't make not make sense, but you know, it it could it, it meant more with him out without him saying that. He could cover his tracks easier. Um, uh, let's see. Reviews from the Beyond that just becoming a thing. Uh, besides the original Wicker Man, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I like it. Oh, the original, I suppose. Uh, I like time. I like nighttime better. Says uh, '80s horror fan John. Mm-hmm. I spent on Your Grave also. <laughs> Oh, yes, forget about great... Uh, yeah, oh, you guys going back and forth, but um, <laughs> there's another little picture back there. But anyways... Um, yeah, it's called... Um, oh, I forgot. It, it, it's an actually a famous painter from, I think, the New York area. I forgot whether... The Dalai Lama? No. Oh. I can't remember. But it doesn't really have anything, I guess, to do with the no. with the film there. But they're having this conversation, and ultimately, it's just them fighting... About something stupid, like he didn't tell her about it. But not really funny. And she's not even that mad about it. She just wished, hey, just tell me about it. I was going to say, their arguments throughout this film. Which are really almost about nothing. Well, it doesn't even really, yeah, they never raise like, their voice, really. No. It's like what a relationship would be when it is on the rocks. You're, you're just talking. You're going to argue and bicker about every little thing. And get defensive about every little thing. Yes. They are. Yes, they are. Oh, but well, I've got a minute here. Sure. I can tell my when I went to go see this movie in the theater, I was very excited. Right. Because I don't get to go see a movie. How excited were you? This excited. Oh, that's a lot. And that's because mm. I don't get to see a movie for myself very often. Right. Like many of you probably get to do, go all the time. Ugh. But I chose to have children, so I can't complain. But I do oh. get to see all the kids' movies. I saw Abominable this weekend and it was Good. lovely. Nothing wrong with the kids' movies. No, nothing wrong with the kids' movies. A lot movies. of times they're some of the best, but anyways. Hey, yeah. absolutely. Right. I, don't, I can't complain. Okay, so? So, I went to go see this movie, and it was the last week that it was playing right. in my area. Mm-hmm. The only theater that had it at a time that I could go, and they were losing. I saw it on a, a Wednesday, and I think they were losing it on Friday. <laughs> Felix comes in. Where is Ted's hot sister? <laughs> oh man, she was supposed to join us last week, but she bailed. Hey, Felix, last week's show up? was uh, was her idea too, and I'm sorry. She she'll be back as soon as we do a movie like S or something like that. That's like seven yeah, S's no, we'll, in a row. We'll get her back. We'll get her back. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll give her a kick in the ass. She'll come. Uh, she'll come. But, but uh, I was the only one in the theater. Yeah, I'm like, this is cool. This is cool. I like this. I figured the only nobody, one. Well, when I first got there. Okay. 
So I pick my row, yeah, which is usually second to last row, all the way against the wall. Okay. All right. That's where I go. Against the, the hell? wall. That's a bad seat. No, that's a good seat for okay. me. Okay. All right. Because that tells everybody, okay, he's over there. Let's just leave him alone. Oh, are All you right? going to tell the story? Yeah, I'm going to tell the story because we got a minute here. Okay. Um, yeah, they're still sitting on the couch right, I, discussing the trip. But yeah. Go ahead. So, you know, a few other people trickle in, but they sit on the other side away from me. So, you know, the movie is starting. <laughs> I hope he didn't wear the shirt when he saw it. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. And then, uh, <laughs> I think I was even wearing this shirt when, when I went in. And then in comes Bubba Bay yeah. with, with, with his hoe. Um, I don't know what the hell. The, I mean, the, the, the guy was like the notorious B.I.G. He was that big. Yeah. I mean, he's it's three steps to get up, and, and he's already huffing. And, you know, they got he's got his fucking popcorn and his Skittles or snow caps and big thing of freaking nachos with jalapeno. I could smell them. All right. 8,000 se- 8, seats in this theater. Yeah. They sit one seat away from me. Like, you shitting me. You, should, you could sit over there. You could sit down there. You there could were a sit lot of seats and he went lot and sat of right seats. next to you. There probably weren't more than eight people in the theater. What the hell? One seat away from me. Why did you start, get up and move? Oh. And I'm just, fuck, you mother. Ted. You motherfucker. Oh my God. You motherfucker. More on this story to come as the movie unfolds. Needless to say, throughout all this part of the movie, until I tell you, I'm hearing jalapenos and nachos getting munched in my ear by some jackass and they ain't being quiet you know they got to whisper a little bit i would have moved i should have but i figured i was there first god damn it yeah. and i had my knife on me and i thought you know if they give me any trouble <laughs> felix. <I'm just> kidding. <laughs> felix says i love this story so <laughs> more yeah. on the story i just you know just keep that in the back of your, of, of your noodle there and You'll, you'll, yeah. you'll finish it up a little yeah. bit later. Yeah, as they make their comments, I'll jump in. There. Okay. So they're uh, all at, I don't know whose apartment this is. Lightning is super important and makes a good conversation. Lightning? Uh, reviews? Maybe my stories are lightning. I want a light sound bite of Ted's eating. <laughs> <laughs> Take it outside. I mean, you know, I mean, it's bad enough. I don't know why the hell movie theaters sell popcorn. I mean, I think they should sell big bags of deviled eggs or something like that. Something quiet. Oh. You know, hey, I, that would be nice, I mean, but man, I don't think I'd eat deviled eggs out at a movie theater. I mean, why do you have people eat the noisiest goddamn uh, food in the world? Eggs. I think popcorn and nachos should be banned from movie theaters. It's noisy, smells like shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get back to this here. What, what's going on? The, the, I don't so know whose apartment this is, or dorm, or whatever. I think it's Christian's dorm, the, the Swedish fella. There's a bowl right there. There's a bong. The Swedish fella. You're that, or it's a chemistry He's bringing experiment. them all to Sweden with them. Right. And he seems like a nice enough Dude, guy. He seems like a, of course he, he looks, is. He's, he's, he looks like one of the guys that's in a band I like called Nightwish. Um, of course he's, he's, he's a nice person. He's right. being kind. He's, he's, he's luring them in. Right. So Danny's coming up. She's arriving. Christian's already there, and he says, oh, by the way, guys, I invited Danny to go, yeah. but she's not coming. But she's not coming. I love that. I she, know. I invited her, and you're like, well, and there's that, that douchebag. Mark, you're like, well, what, what the fuck are you talking about? What, what is it? Like, I'm just telling you. She's going the Mark character is a douchebag. He doesn't I invite give a her, shit about anything. But I assure you, she's not coming. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as she gets here, she's like, and they're like, they make some pleasantries, <laughs> but then I think it's that, uh, I forget who says it. it was like, <laughs> So, Sweden. She's like, oh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to going. I can't wait. (laughs) Bitch is going. (laughs) No, yeah. And everybody's like, oh, yeah. Even before she came up, that Mark, he's asking, are there any meatball sex clubs we should hit up in Stockholm? (laughs) See, I think he and Christian are both just thinking this is going to be some sexual escapade adventure. Oh, Throughout Scandinavia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And especially those two. Yeah, yeah. And, um, well, especially that Mark. Oh, Chris, but, uh, Christian's got a whole different agenda. He's got some ideas here, but now that, that's that got the kibosh on it. So they go to, I think Mark asks Christian to go check out this paragraph for right. him. Probably to chew his ass out for inviting Devil Deviled her. eggs would be great for said farts. See? Uh, yeah. Uh, there well, you go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm not, I'm just offering a suggestion. You know, it's just something quiet to chew on. I mean, what else is, I mean, jello? I mean, I don't know. I mean, just moose, chocolate moose. I mean, why don't they just start I serving soup? So people can 
So Christian's on the couch with Danny, and, and kind of this very yeah, intimate, she asks him some questions intimate about conversation it. here. Right. Um, he's uh, showing her some photos of you know their dress and, and some of the things. He's talking a little I, bit about it. I just it. want to kiss her right here. She's pretty. Yeah. She's yeah. just sitting there looking at him in his but eyes. But she looks so so delicate and so fragile. fragile. Fra- yeah. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, very fragile. I, I would be a better boyfriend to her. Well, of course. Well, I mean, because I am. I'm a nice guy. She means. I'm a good guy. She needs some. And, and this is, you get a glimpse of what oh, goes on. Uh, yeah. So she, he, she's that's where he by says, panic attacks you know, I'm most excited for you to come. Yeah. You know. And yeah, so she gets sweet. that little panic, whatever, goes in the bathroom, and boom, she's on the airplane. Panic, whatever. She, it transitions she gets panic to panic attacks. Yeah, they showed her. She takes out a van. Yeah, you know. But yeah, they boom. Because that's they important. Transition that, on the plane. That that to know that she she suffers from panic attacks, and uh, every so often throughout the film, these occur. Mm-hmm. And and this e- is each just time, it's post-traumatic it's, stress it's, from what she went through. I mean, imagine knowing well, I, that you're sister murdered your parents and how she, could, she did she could have had it beforehand too but yeah i mean i'm sure that didn't help no it did but um there's scenes later right on in, in the cult um all right that um you know come to come into play that are very very interesting i guess the reason i don't it's, do it is just because there was no magnetic leader like leading them all you don't but whereas like in the wicker man you, you had christopher just, lee you know a very well, magnetic there, kind of leader there were a couple elders there. Yeah, but I mean, though. and nobody it, did anything I until. But they see, I said knew so. that if I was in that village, I could kick their ass. Well, Christopher Lee, I don't think I could kick his ass. Be, he killed motherfuckers. You'd be stricken down by the gods, though, man. I mean, even when he was like ninety, I still think Christopher Lee would probably kick my ass. Yeah, Christopher, yeah, he might have. Like Christopher I said, he Lee. killed motherfuckers, dude. Yeah, he did in real life. Yeah, killed yeah, motherfuckers. He's, he's a badass. But um. Oh, let's yeah. watch for a moment. Okay. Because some people. Well, what's going on here? Uh, Dan they're is, driving. They, they've arrived in Sweden. And they're hitting the road. It's a several-hour yes. drive. It, yeah. All I think of, they said four hours. Four-hour drive to... Which isn't several. And I can't remember the couple. name of his village that he lives in, but it's... A few. Way up north. Several, way, 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 way up Six north. or more. Kilometers. Now, um, there's going to be a park coming up here I want to show you. Um because some people feel that this is the sister. In the, see right there, you can almost see a face and eyes. In the well, it passed uh, now, but in the trees, some people thought that that was in the trees. Yeah. Now there's a part later on where you definitely it's in the defini- trees or the reflection. No, in the trees, because you do see it again later on. Some people think that that's what that is. Damn it! I'm going to have to go back right. and look. Now, did at you that. see the other part I told you about when they were carrying her on the dais? Did you see what I was telling you? You know, I I missed well, both I will, I will of the things, you. but. I'll show um, you. What's going on here is they're, they're all in the car driving, but mm-hmm. uh, Josh, mm. he's carrying along a book. Uh, what's the name of that book again? It's a the secret Nazi language of the Uthark. Yeah. What that is is, um, and they, it's to a, it's to bother a Christian he, or Pele. Pele. The reason for that is why did I say Christian? Yeah, oh, Pele. The reason for that is because during World War II, uh, I believe the Nazis used that ancient runic language. As code, right? Um, which I think you know the Allies were eventually able to break, um, just like. Oh, reviews from beyond. I have to take anxiety meds. It sucks having panic attacks. It's so uh, debilitating. Yes, uh, I suffer from the same thing, yep. man. So I'm in the same boat. I get you. Um, scariest thing in the world. Mm-hmm. If you've never, if you've never gone through a panic attack, you have no idea what we're talking about but yeah very debilitating and affects your whole life so uh i suffer from it too amongst other anxiety ridden things i usually just give him a blow job and he just oh god (laughs) son of a bitch oh here we go to the the, ah everything's upside down he ari aster knows how to he did this a little bit in uh, hereditary Hereditary, just a little bit yeah down the hallway walk where every the camera flipped upside down but in this, you get the car drive, and they're coming That's into cool. the... Mm. There's a big banner up about but it flips yeah. you upside down as they're driving. Right. And I had to turn away because it was making me freaking sick. <laughs> you getting nauseous watching Yeah, I'm like, going, whoa, man, where the hell am I? Yes. What's going on? 
So yeah, you get a quick glimpse of that. In oh, back to that book. book so I think Josh keeps that book just to irritate Pelu because they yeah. collaborated with the Nazis. Uh, right, right. <laughs> but it's just like how the you know in the states we use the uh, Navajo and Cherokee yeah, language love, uh, reviews yeah. to uh, as code, yeah. and the Nazis were never able to break it. Right, right, right. So so the car does pull up. Yeah, we're in a field the, uh, close to the village, like Woodstock. You know. Now look at this. I mean, who a would, few, would you want to live here? A few hippie. What? You think you could just like start doing without TV after a while and Ted, the whole you know walk around with shit between your toes and if it wasn't a cult and I wasn't going to end up dead. <laughs> look at Mark. Uh, but he's walking like, my God, do you see all these bugs? I know. It's like <laughs> now, what is he? Ari Aster is actually like a, a phobic when it comes to bugs and getting oh, really? bit and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Okay. So that's a little bit of him right in there. Ticks is it? and stuff okay. like that. Yep. Yep. So he was probably way up. Above all of this. Oh, God. They said, I was reading up a little bit, just yeah. some tidbits, that he wore two pairs tidbits. of socks pulled up over his pants oh so he wouldn't God. get anything up his pants. <laughs> Imagine being... That reminds me of you. <laughs> yeah, more secrets revealed. Oh, God. Uh, but, uh, yeah, no, no, they're in this field. Yeah, Star-Lord and... And, and Danny and Josh and Mark. Pella goes off to give this guy a hug. We're going to find this as Ingmar, his brother. And, and, he, and Ingmar, his brother, has bought... Brought two other people from London, right. um, Simon and Connie. Connie. And in their culture, what we're going to find is how their lives are divided up by Hello, uh, years of 18. I'm Igmar. This is their second 18 years where they're supposed to go on a pilgrimage. So college and the experiences out in the world is their pilgrimage. Right. And they're bringing back these friends for this festival um, that only happens once every 90 years. Every 90 years. Um, and that's the whole point of them coming here because there's some special celebrations some of these things happen anyway. I have a special celebration. But this particular celebration, what happens on the ninth day, um, only happens once in a lifetime, once a generation. Right. Um, so that's why they're there to see this. And evidently, outsiders are welcome. A couple of them, especially this Josh fella, yeah. really want to do his dissertation here, and he's going to try to you know, finagle permission to do that. Yeah. Puh. First Puh. thing they offer him, two minutes after they meet these people, it's like, hey, you want some mushrooms? Let's yeah, get yeah. high. Well, the, the whole yeah, yeah, you're stoned. The whole commune revolves around. Uh, they do use hallucinogenics. Yeah, natural remedies and, and stuff. That's how they make their living and, and enough money to right. sustain their. Among other things, cult. textiles, milk, shit like that. Yeah. I don't know what they do. Yeah, which is what most cults do. Swatch yeah. watches. I don't know. Yeah, they they, they whip the. And kids don't you love into, how you know, Danny says, "Oh no, I, I want to get my footing first before I get high." And they're well, all getting pissed. Oh, we'll all be on different trips. It's not cool. We gotta all do it together. Let me ask you a question. If you yeah. and I were there, would we be taking some of the mushrooms? Uh, not me. Why? I'd be too freaked out. But we're there. I mean, we yeah. Get, we gotta, I, I don't you want to fit in and be one of the crowd? No, I. You wanna... gonna let everybody else be stoned and you just sit there? Yeah. No, I want to enjoy the grass, the blue skies. Look how nature. much they enjoy it. They a couple of them flipped out. Nah. We'd be doing so. You mushrooms. would. If you do it, I'd do it. No, I'm not going to do it. All right. What if, what if they put it in a nice tea like Danny's? Look, they made mushroom tea. <laughs> yeah, that makes it better. I don't know. You're still getting the same Look at trip. Look, skull. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, I, love, I do think, that, I th do think, this so is my favorite part with Mark. He makes this whole scene oh, great. Oh, <laughs> right, right. Because they're at a spot in Sweden where, in the time of the year where it's daylight all the right. time. It might get a little dark, but For yeah. an hour or two, that's it. But yeah, it's daylight pretty much all the time because they're, they're so far up north. And all five of them, uh, well, six of them are sitting there. No, five of them. Yeah, five. Um, they're all tripped all, out on mushrooms. They're all tripping on mushrooms and Mark wakes up. Yes. And isn't the first thing he Yeah, they says, go, oh, like, look. I think someone says, oh, look, someone's coming. He's like, what? I, I don't want a new person. I can't, I, I can't take that right now. I can't tolerate a new person. Not right now. I don't want new people. Yeah. <laughs> And the I like how he just walks by. by. They're in, he gets all scared. <laughs> he goes back. They're, all, then, they're all in basic white kind of, you know, attire. Yes. You know, basically like a shirt and pants. Uh, some yeah, of the guys have like a dress by. on. But, um, he tells everybody, everybody, lay down. Yeah, Put like, your heads down. Lay down Seriously, everybody, back. everybody do it. It's better this way. It's better this way. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, Mark, and Christian's just sitting back there, you know. He the looks like he's from. not enjoying himself, Christian. You see, he's like... Mm. Shaking his head and like like trying yeah. to shake it off. I don't know. It looks like he's not enjoying it. Danny, look, she's stoned as hell. He has the same. Christian has the same kind of 
way about him throughout the whole movie when he gets on these trips. Yeah, Look Danny's got now, looks you like down to at her hand. It? What grass coming your, your out of my hand? hand? Well, it's not really coming out of your hand. Just your eyes make it look like it's coming out of your hand. Uh, yeah, and would, look, she's looking at the that. tree. You can see that would the, make me feel really look, good. Look, the, the movement of the tree, the sap going through the tree. That would be awesome. Like like blood in the veins of an exactly. arm. Exactly. See, that's why you want to do this. We're gonna get us some. One of you guys yes. out there, send us some mushrooms in the mail, <laughs> oh and we'll take God. them for the show. Oh, I wouldn't take that <laughs> stuff first thing. When I get there, no. oh come on! <laughs> Got to scope out the scene first. Reviews. <laughs> Listen, I was saying the first. Scope out the scene. I was saying I like. the. I was saying the first, same thing. When they first got there and they were taking it, I'm like going, "That's the first thing you're gonna do. You don't even know what's going on." See, but now they're cool. I mean, we knew a little bit about. Now them. they've achieved the level of cool. Yeah, if you say so. So she's going to take uh, a little walk, and she perceives. This is coming from a guy who I don't. You've never done anything. No, I, so so why yeah. is he bringing this up? I have no idea. But, but anyways, but in the right situation, you want to go to an Indian. I might try something like that one time to see what it was like. Okay. I might. Yeah. At this age. Okay. I mean, because what have I got to lose? Your your life maybe a heart attack eating or... a mushroom that you grows out of the ground, yeah possibly if it's poisonous or get well, you that's out. not poisonous. Anyway, they're whatever. having a good time. Ingmar goes, you come over, you sit, you come meet my friends, huh? Meet my friends. Yeah. She's like, no, I can't deal with that shit right now. I gotta walk this way. Yeah. <laughs> she's starting to freak out, and she's going to end up. Having... And I don't really know why. Just something, just you know, a rush well, of emotion came over. She's... She perceived these people were laughing at her. She deals with panic attacks. Yep. That's what she's doing. Oh, she's look, going see, to look, a shed. Look how it's all wavy. She's running in there. Yeah. She's, I like that effect. Well, and that's the feeling. You get these feelings. Everything's well, closing in on you. Well, you tell me, man. You Down the, you know. Oh, look at that, man. I think her mom or sister was, her sister was in the mirror. Well, she's starting to freak out. And then. Oh, she's got bugs on her. Yeah. And then runs out of this dark little My shed. My God, you're in Sweden. You're just going to take off into the forest? This is not good. Well, this is what the mushrooms will do for you. You'll have fun. Well, I won't do them in Sweden. You'll have a good time. I won't then. do mushrooms in Sweden. No? Just here in America? Yeah. Here in the good old U.S. of A. Okay. <laughs> Say so. Oh, what's this? They're all sitting there watching TV. She's, oh, she she's dreaming vision. and she's having visions of her parents and her sister. Sister eyeing her And up. Um, Yeah. And evidently she wakes up. And it's the next day. It's the next day. And she asks... How long have I been out? And so they, right. They're like, you've been there for six hours, man. Did they just sit there for six hours? They were probably copping fields and stuff. She didn't know what was going on. And when Mark asked about what time it was when they were all tripping back by the tree, yeah. they, they said it's oh, 9, yeah. p, 9 p.m. And he what do goes, you mean? It can't be 9 p.m. It's, not, it's daylight out, man. What's it's going still, on? It's still light out. So, yeah, he was tripping. Uh, he, he was really, yeah, he was out there, man. That'd be cool. But, I mean, just like how that happens in Alaska and stuff yeah. like that. You know, at that particular, you know, latitude that you get up to. Right. I like that. That's cool. I'd like to experience that. I, lo I love when Homeboy pisses on the sacred tree, says. Oh, reviews. God. Oh, yeah. that's, that's a good scene, man. Way I mean, of all the places. I mean, you're, there's people standing around. You just whip it out. You don't even go, like, out in the woods where no one can see you. Or I'm sure right. they have outhouses. Well, the tree was so big that he thought he could just step behind it. But, I mean, there were people and... around. Well, he didn't. I mean, he whipped it out. Whipped it out? He whipped. <laughs> Mark it. is an ass, so he doesn't yeah. give a shit what he does. I know. I identify with him. But, uh. So I guess they have on. to walk the rest of the way. I guess cars weren't good enough. They have to walk the rest of the way. Well. It doesn't look like much of a road. Ted, where would you put your car? I don't know. I, Stay I, off I, that rod. Stay off that rod. <laughs> I'm surprised there's some guy. Ah, hey, your kids better not go down that rod. <laughs> Can you imagine putting <laughs> putting somebody out there saying that? Don't go down that rod. Don't go down that rod. <laughs> oh God. Uh, but, they all got. They all brought back sacks instead of like suitcases and back sacks or backpacks. Is it the same thing? Backpack. A back backpack. Sack? Yeah, I guess you can call it that. Do you have back sacks? <laughs> can I put all my stuff in your back sack? get stuff in a back sack? <laughs> well, what do you put in a back Look at that. Sack? That, that girl's back. is bigger than hers. She could fit in it. That's that's Connie. That's oh, Simon Connie. now look at this when they arrive. Look how they walk through this dais here. And actually, except for the sun rays coming out of it, yeah. it's like the same symbol that the table is. And symbols are going to be a huge deal in this film. Oh, you yeah. got to pay attention. I mean, they don't mean shit, but it gives you little hints at things to come. It doesn't mean shit. 
Well, symbols I mean, mean a lot. They don't. Well, as far as the story goes, they don't mean anything. But a little bit of foreshadowing with some of the symbols. But you know, the shape of the table that they sat at. Yeah, it's, it, it's the same symbol, but it's upside down. It was the shape of a, a, a cack and balls. I guess. So here they all are. They're in paradise. You would think so. And look, there's I other mean, people. There. I mean, I don't know if these are all, you know, other people returning from pilgrimage. Or if they've brought, you know, they don't show that other people brought people. So right. I, I presume that they're just, just uh, Pella and uh, Ingmar, you know, brought people. Yeah, just those two, yeah. Because uh, they need new blood. Because it's going to be the five, six, seven people to- in total that are here. And uh, Ingmar uh, goes up to, whether it's his father or whoever it is, holds his face, stares at him for a good five minutes. Yeah. And you got people... Playing a weird cow shit in there. Uh, they're playing like little <laughs> flutes and stuff like that too, you know, for the arriving, you know, people yeah. arriving. And it seems a little really otherworldly, man. Just yes, I guess I was I'd trying be a to little figure, uncomfortable. Uh, that's the point I was so going to make. Odd. Even though they're coming to this beautiful place where you think that it's all peace and love. This is actually Hungary, by the way. They filmed it in Hungary. I am. But um, where they think it's all about peace and love and, you know, everything looks beautiful. It's summer. You see the flowers, everything. But the music and even what is going on in the background with the people and everything else seems very, um, what's the word? Otherworldly. Yeah, it's just off-putting. Not, it's, it's just... Off-putting, yeah. It's, it's, it doesn't... So different. Doesn't than, make than you... the society that you know. Yeah, it doesn't make you feel comfortable. Their there. architects aren't that great either. Look how lopsided that house is. Well, I, th- I think the angle things are on purpose. I mean... Uh, I think he was on the mushrooms when he built that house. <laughs> <laughs> Here, that or Ronald Hardy built that house. Give me the 45 degree angle. <laughs> All right. Whatever. Fuck it, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in. <laughs> No, no. Where's I, the measuring tape? Lost it. It, it looks. <laughs> we'll almost, eyeball it. <laughs> it looks almost Hobbit-like. The 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 houses. Except they're really big. Well, right. Yeah. And they don't have round doors, and they're above ground. And... I like how they all approach the one guy here with the like the dress kind on. Yeah, even I think he even cuts a little joke about yeah, it. Goes, like, oh, I, see my robes. I look la. little girly. La 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 la. He la, says la, that. La. I look a little girly. Ah. He says, but it's our mainstay dress, you know, it's it's our attire. Yeah. What the hell? Dude, I put in got a whole two shift hours. Kit. I know, no. we got two hours to go. Look at Mark just sucking on a vape. My God. Yeah, he's vaping away, man, that's for People sure. People look like such douchebags when they do that. Don't they whip it out in Cleveland? <laughs> Heck yeah, we do. <laughs> One time, uh, we on a to... field trip, yeah. we were going, I think, to the Natural History Museum downtown Cleveland. Right. We're all on the bus, and there's this... Well, the I'm going to presume he was a homeless guy. Yeah, he's just taking. He's just standing, facing the street, taking a piss, shaking his big dick. Oh my god! So yeah, in Cleveland we whip it out. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> ah, look what he's, he's peeing. You're not giving Cleveland a good light. You no, know? man. He just depends you, where you're going. Yeah, Cleveland. the big black mamba just. He's whipping <laughs> the hose. In the street. Yeah, no, no. It's, <laughs> it depends who you see. But I always yeah. have a good story when I go downtown. Man. Just there's always a good story. In, in the set where, like, wherever they filmed this in, in Hungary. Um, yes, I am. A very cool, like, yeah, j- just this little commune with houses and stuff like that. And a little erected things, a stage mm-hmm. where um, all of a sudden everybody starts walking to. Yeah. A la the time machine. The time machine. You know? You know? Almost, man. The Morlocks are ringing the bell. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I didn't think of it. They're thinking and, alloy. Um, yeah, the alloy, yeah. And they're all just coming to the, you know, I guess they're kicking off the this festival. Is, this is the first day. The first yeah. the first day. And the first day of nine. Not, not much going on. The first of nine. The first of nine. Yes. yes. And it, it's just, you know, I don't know. They, some words. You don't know? Some, some, some wor- blabbering. Some... Nothing much really happens. The dead the spirits dead will... Rise. Fly one time, away. one time down. To, oh, oh! I should have brought up when when they were all you having the have. mushrooms. Yes. Back to my story. Like of, who's this girl over here? I'm getting the, back to my story with the blue shirt and the. Um, She's probably on skirt. a pilgrimage as well. She's returned, I think. Okay. Because okay. I did see another girl go, go up to someone and, and hug someone. So obviously, because okay. I thought maybe other people brought people too, but right. that's not what happened. Okay. She's probably part of the. So I'm sitting there, and, and Bubba Bay is, you know, Biggie Smalls is still 
crunching on his nachos. Oh, back to the story. Yeah, not back to that story. And so, like, when the grass is growing out of Danny's hand and all that, yeah, you know, I hear him, what's going on, what are you doing? And I hear, I just go, man, yo, man, they be tripping. Just like that. About that loud. Yo, man, they be tripping. Oh, first glance. Oh, of, there's Reuben. Yeah, the, the inbred. Reuben the inbred. Yeah. Oh, my God. He's, with the uh, big lips that you see on the poster right. and everything. Oh, one of the rare occasions when we see some subtitles in this yeah. movie. Um, a lot of the Swedish language is purposely not subtitled to... I think, you know, I'm pretty sure to, to make you feel more isolated, too. This high, my yeah, So fire, you don't know what's being No set. higher, no hotter. Yeah, that's right. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Spirit. <laughs> Back to the dead. Yeah. And, yep. And that's that's kind of like what this is. On, on the last day, they're yeah. going to make their offering to the dark spirit, you know, to, to leave them alone yep. for another 90 years. And pieces of human. But, yo, man, they be tripping. They be tripping. Like yeah, that's yeah. We got that. They're eating mushrooms. Yeah, they're tripping. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So they're still there, munching and crunching, whispering, Blabber. annoying. Up until this point in the movie, I'm annoyed as shit. Mm. All right. So that's going on. Now back to the know. movie. Okay. Look. Oh, look at that. How they're sitting at that. I believe that is going to be Danny's symbol on her dress mm-hmm. uh, when she uh, is crowned May Queen and, and towards the, you know all that. That's it's like that's kind of an R. It is an R. Think. Yeah, it stands for. It, it, it's it's ribbed for her pleasure. They show it in other pictures though, where it's part of a larger figure mm. or um image or whatever you I guess so. say or symbol. Um, so it's part of a symbol. And I love all these things where they just have to sit there and wait for some old people to decide to do some shit. And they and never they... look at mm. anybody else. No, which is odd. I mean, are they all? How do they all know what to do? Yeah. I guess they hear, maybe. I mean, you, you I like how the one elderly lady gets to sit in a chair. Well, she gets a chair. She's got bad hips. She's got yeah. bad hips. Yeah, see? He, yeah, he okay, gets a yeah. chair. He's There's got bad hips. There's a couple that get to sit on a chair. Pops has hemorrhoids. Got some, yeah, bad. Got some, got some roids. They're tearing the ass out of him. Tearing the ass out of me. Mm. Oh, my God. And, and what, what? I think he sings a little song here. He's just singing a little ditty. But see, everybody else, nobody else turns around to look. You know, they do, of course. Yeah. You know, he's like, hey, <laughs> something like that, I guess. Hey, yeah. I got another cool story about going downtown. Can lo- I tell it? Yeah. A, a lot of the movie, they're making a lot of these. <laughs> yeah. so there's I'm going to start doing that. There's a lot of sounds like that a, in this movie. movie. Take a sip of water. Yeah. I'm not sure. God, he looks like Mitch Miller now. Mitch who? An old singer. Mitch McConnell? <laughs> Mitch but, um, okay, so you got so one time, downtown. yeah, I mean, I went downtown one time, I down, went, down right to the Tower down, City, right downtown, down, right downtown, straight downtown, and I was about to go in Tower City, which is oh boy, the, the terminal, and also a mall. Yeah, we don't want to go mall. downtown. Yeah, see mall. my gal, show her my schlongs. Sh- <laughs> um, the, the the security guards were bringing this guy out. All right. Yeah. He looked like he'd been roughed up a little bit. Right. I don't know what happened, but they shoved him out of the mall. Mm-hmm. And I'm coming up. The guy was, he just stood there for a second. And next thing I know, he just falls face plants on the ground, on the sidewalk. Yeah. A little old lady gets down by him and starts saying, Somebody help him. Somebody help him. Yeah. Me and my buddy stepped right over, went into the mall. Now, granted, I was about 15, 16 when I did that. You're a punk. I, I didn't have a heart back then. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say that's, that's. I wouldn't do that now. That's kind of cold, Ted. You'd uh, have done the same thing. No, I wouldn't. Have. You'd have helped him, huh? Would yeah. you give him mouth-to-mouth resuccullation? Uh, if I didn't have to. But, All yeah. right. Ooh, there's Maya. Yeah, Maya is. This is Pella's sister. Yes, she's supposed to be fifteen. She is fifteen. Eighteen. Well, All right. Well. <laughs> 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 Quagmire. There's a symbol on the door. Yep. Um, 18? All right. <laughs> Giggity. But but I guess at 15 in this cult. Actually, in Sweden, yes. That's the legal age of consent. Okay. Yeah. Well, so, I mean. She's become. I guess R. Kelly should just move to Sweden. She, she's, she's become. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> ready for. you know, And she's picked out. She's ready for love. She's picked out Christian. Yeah. 
We'll see as, as that progresses. Target. Yeah, and, and they give you little clues that, uh, you know, what's going to happen here. Oh, look at this. All the kids running around. Yeah. People doing these weird... I guess I'd feel a little uncomfortable. Like, I, I can't be that hippie-ish. Like, I love music from the 60s and 70s. I love all that hippie shit. <laughs> music and everything. But I don't think if I lived back then that I, I'd be down with the music. But I don't think I'd be dirty, filthy... Uh... Going around I like with chicks. Where this is going. Going around <laughs> with chicks with their armpit hair longer than hell. Yeah. You know, it ain't attractive. Braided. Uh, I mean, you think about like the Manson family. All them hair. hippie girls, you know, they said all they had, all they freaked all this sex, did all everything. You know how bad them girls probably stunk? Well, you know. Can you think of how bad different that time, different smelled? day? I guess smells are smells. I don't no, know. no, 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 no. I mean, you're talking like sewage. I think even. <laughs> Even if I was they didn't use no tampons. Hippie back then, I would have said, "Yeah, you go take a shower first. Yeah, you go sit on a fire hydrant for two, three hours, and maybe <laughs> we'll talk about it." <laughs> sit on a fire hydrant. Oh my lord! Oh, look at this. We find out that it was um, Danny's birthday. Christian forgot. Christian drew her a beautiful. Or Pella picture. did. Pella drew her a, a portrait. I keep saying Christian. Yeah, Pella. Because it's been established that he doodles, he draws from this, right. and he drew her a nice self-portrait. It almost seems like he's got... Um, it's something I do for this uh, on a birthday. Do you, get, you certainly get the feeling that he's got maybe some feelings for her. Oh, yeah, and definitely. And he's, he's creeping on a come up to yeah. sneak in. And I certainly get by the end of this film that those two will probably be wed. You know, Because she's there to stay. Yeah. By the end of the I film, can, I think you get that feeling. She's there to stay. I can see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. And, yeah, uh, towards the end of this. Right. So she feels kind of nice. What? You know, he says, you know, it's a birthday present. I just yeah. did it special for you. And yeah, yeah douchebag Christian, yeah, you forgot. Right, yeah. And, and he, Christian tells, I mean, not Christian, Pella tells Christian about it. Right, later on. You know, yeah. Which I think might be an, ex, uh, an added scene as well. Oh, here's a stone with some runes on it. And they're going to talk about that elder and uh, early Uthark type runic language, which is pretty cool. Yeah. You know, I like all that runes. It's like stuff out of Lord of the Rings and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, you know, no. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I love look that. Those big bales of hay back there. Shit. I, I just love Sweden. Man, look at, that's look at that building. Completely lopsided. Oh. Jesus Christ. That'd never fly here. That dog don't hunt. Perhaps geometry angles, it means something to this, this society. Not right? much. If you're looking at runes and, and, and evidently there's some astronomy going on and... and astrology and all that other good stuff then angles and stuff like that means something so all the right. shapes of these houses these big deep i was angles trying to have some fun mean, and you're yeah. getting all serious on my ass well well right. you know hey so right. so what's going on here oh i like when he, they're asking we've got about four, we've got four people watching you know, I, I think i'm gonna go back to just recording this shit yeah thank you you four people <laughs> thank you four who are here but yeah i might have to just go back to just maybe I don't Editing think these videos. personally, <laughs> personally, I don't think this was that popular of a film. Midsummer? Um, yeah, I don't. I don't think it was. Did that you guys popular. like it in the uh, chat? Well, Felix, they're, stick, like they're sticking the around, so I'm figuring they did. Yeah, probably. I like it. They walk by. Is anybody gonna say anything about the bear? That is, that is funny. <laughs> that is funny. I think I said, Ingmar, it's, just, just, it's a bear. It's just sitting there in a the, uh, <clears throat> cage. You know, and you can tell it's it's not. There's no area set up for it all mm -hmm. year long, so it's going to be used for something, and you right. know that. And now we're going to see the second Simon of Akani. our tapestries. Yeah, and you do have to watch it from right to left. Ingmar. This is supposed to be Maya. Mm -hmm. She's got eyes on Christian. We're going through a big tapestry. Tapestry. Um, you see her right here, cutting yeah. her pubic hairs. Yeah. Putting them in the food, Ooh. and here dripping some menstrual blood into a cup, yeah. and then serving it to a guy, and then that guy going under a spell and falling in love with her. So if you're really paying attention to that, right. you know exactly what's gonna what's coming, and there's really no questions. I, I do like how he does that. This serves the same purpose like <laughs> the dollhouses did right. in in Hereditary. And there's a and we're coming up to it, and I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, Felix says uh, I have not watched the film. I'm here for the uh, live commentary. Oh. Yeah. And the stories. Oh. So, but yeah, we get all of them. They're coming to, like, where do we sleep? Yeah, this is where so everybody the, from zero to 18 years old, or, or uh, no, until they're 36. They stay here till they are 36 and then move on. And it's some gigantic barn. 
And look at all. I mean, some artists actually came and decorated all this stuff. And unfortunately, we don't even get to see it all. I know, yeah. You know, uh, the whole ceiling is done. Yes. You know, symbols and this and was images, all hand so. done by an artist that they hired to do this for the film. And you don't even get to see it all. Yeah. You know, I mean, that would be a great extra on the Blu-ray just to look at all of it. Oh, yeah. Which I don't think there are any extras. Close-ups of all of that? Somebody had to have. Oh, you would think? I think this deserves like a making of kind of book, you know, with pictures of all the, you know, um, look at that. I mean, I'd love to. Those are right out of Lord of the Rings, man. Tolkien stole all this shit. (laughs) (laughs) Well, or they stole it from Tolkien. I'm pretty sure the language is around before Tolkien. (laughs) Oh, he you, was you a professor think? of languages, so he, he knew what he was doing. Well, yeah, okay, okay. So we'll give him that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and here's all. Danny's going to discover all the pictures of the past May Queens, and there's a little spot left for her. So do they do all the May Queens once a year? Yeah, that's every year. The May because Queen, I was going to say, yeah. yeah, that's part of the uh, midsummer festival, right, May, okay. May Day festival. Yeah, yeah. You know, we already saw the Maypole. The big pole there in the center when they you came in. Saw the big maypole. <laughs> yeah. Which is just a big it's just a big dick. That's really what it is in real life. The I mean, maypole. Well it is. It's a it's a phallic symbol. Yeah. You know, just like in Wicker Man when all the girls are dancing around it and in some festivals if you sit at the base of it, yeah, you know, it, it'll give you it'll make you fertile so you can have a child and the all base that. Base of the pole. Yes. So does this make does this make you f- like anything in here? give you those feelings of like wicker man at all a lot of people like if you go on amazon yeah and you look at reviews of this movie a lot of people say oh okay. don't even bother it's just a wicker there are elements of oh, wicker man here. Geez, no. i mean certainly certainly well right right but they're very different films done in very different ways um just inspiration i think came right from these and original... and that's you know the most you know it's a sincere form of flattery yeah. You know, I'm going to take a little bit of, you know, what you gave me in that movie, and I'm going to tell my own story. And, um... Well, this by oh, no God. means is... It, it is a story and uh, an original story of its own. Right. And, and so, it shares so some fantastic. similarities. You know, uh, um, a group of people sort of being all behind the scenes, pulling some strings, making pulling certain the things... Pulling the strings! Pull the strings! Pulling the strings! Making sure... Certain events are set into motion so an ultimate end can be achieved. Well, you get a little glimpse here, real quick, uh, because Christian. But did I think not some of it's about... destiny too. I mean, yeah. say like the Mayday dance. I mean, how do you know she's gonna be the last one? Yeah, she mm. easily could hey, not you're have telling, been. You're getting to the end of the story oh, already. Oh, Christian uh, here, he gets told about the birthday. Yeah. Like, oh shit, I better go rustle up a piece of cake. He's yeah. such a douche. We're down to three. Oh, yeah. When the... <laughs> I love it. I'm going to count it down. Oh, that's it. As soon as oh, we get to zero, see. we stop. Uh, I no, ain't wasting my time. No, they named May Queen in October. Hence the name October May Queen, says Felix. Uh, okay. So there's no such thing as a May Day festival? Yeah. Oh, well. Reviews from uh, the Beyond. I'm watching the theatrical cut. Uh, I could not find the extended cut anywhere, so if anything... You might be able to find a copy from your uncle, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so if anything cool happens that you sure not in theatrical cut, please tell us if you can. Nothing major, certainly no extra added, uh, if you want to call it gore, anything like Because there is yeah. one or two scenes that are a little bit gory. Nothing like that. Um, if anything, it's just relationship stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's one major scene that hasn't even happened yet. That between Danny and Christian, uh, a few couple minute conversation that was pretty big. The rest is just little bits. Yeah, I to, think um, taking it out really made no difference whatsoever. But I think know, having it there uh, and me seeing it for the first time certainly, right? You know, you know, he just said, you know, I mean, when you're that making a more. movie, they want you to make it, you know, as as close to two and a half hours or less as you so can. So it's mostly story threads. So you yes. can, yeah, so you can show it an extra time in the theater. Right. You know, but if you act, add an extra half hour, bam, you take away a whole complete showing. So Yeah, it's an Apple exclusive, right? Yeah. Yes. You get the digital and it's copy. It's really from... shitty. Oh. I've never seen a movie release like this before in my life. Really? Um, like I said, I've uh I went to Amazon UK. They're going to release the director's cut on Blu-ray over there. Yeah. It is not region free. You got to have a region free player like I do. Right. And um but if you go on Amazon UK now, it says it's not available. So I don't know if they only 
you know, pre-ordered so many copies mm -hmm. and that's it. Because mine says it's arriving. It's not like they canceled my order. Yeah. My order still stands. So I'm hoping to get it by, it'll probably be early November when I get it. Because it takes a little while to ship from the UK. Right. But, um, you know, I'm, I just want to have a physical copy because I don't, if a better one comes out here in the States later on, I'll bite. But I, I've never seen a movie release like this. I mean... Oh, what, it, are, what are they doing now? Oh, they're doing yeah. this little um, kind of early morning ritual. It almost looks like a like old people aerobics. <laughs> <laughs> but they do that like, again, they make those the weird sounds with yeah. their voice. Like, ooh. What, are they, what is this, uh, the morning meal? Or is this the, the lunchtime? I don't even know. Who knows? It, See, yeah. and that's the thing, too, with it being sunlight all the time. It's very disorienting and confusing. Yeah. Jesus Christ, who knows what the hell time it is. Right. Look out, they're picking flowers, but they're going backwards. Yeah, yeah. I like that. And you you get to see the sacred temple mm -hmm. in the background. It's all yellow. It's got the little window at the top. And nobody's supposed to go in there. Yep, nobody knows what the hell that's for yet. Yeah. Oh, look, she picks him some flowers. This is going to play into the, so the big conversation that... Um, happens later that i said was cut out right yeah he's like oh did you pick them backwards <laughs> like, yes which i thought was cute you thought that was cute huh? well i mean it's her birthday and she picks him flowers right yeah you know? and he brings that up to her later on too. yeah like, that's that's you know. like what the hell you know oh, and we're gonna meet the uh, village elders and we'll know that they are 72 i don't know if pella has talked about it yet we were kind of bullshitting throughout when they were in the um place where they sleep right um and i mean it like you know it's it's babies all the way up to 36 there mm -hmm. you know because there's a baby that like cries all the time i don't know how anybody got any sleep right, right. <laughs> well, i guess that's why the one dude brought sleeping pills um that they're um they it's out of stock on amazon but yeah go ahead. yeah amazon uk it's it's well i don't know about if you're talking about amazon uk yeah yeah, yeah it says currently unavailable um, I pre-ordered it the moment I knew the pre-order was up mm. and from the UK. Yeah. And so my order's still in. So I'm hoping I, I get it and they don't cancel it like something's up with the release. Yeah. Because it's just been a clusterfuck. Still on its way. Yeah, yeah. I hope so. Um, that they divide their lives up like the four seasons. You know, you, um, you, you know, one through 18, you know, you're a child. 18 to 36, 30, you go on your pilgrimage. Right. Um, live life, learn whatever, you know, yeah, live life, learn your trade, whatever, from uh, 18 to, what is no, it, 54 th th 36 or to 54. 36 to 54. You work. Those are your working years. And from after 54, 54 to 72, 72. You're, you're retired, you're old age. Yeah. After 72, they don't talk about that, but we find out. But the two elders of the village, who we're going to presume are at least... 73 <laughs> now right. yeah. probably serve no great purpose <laughs> so. no nope. well that's not the point of it all the point of yep. do we talk about it a little bit or no yeah we'll be getting to it really soon yeah 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 there's a reason why 72 is where you know it, it, it ends here reviews from the beyond uh sounds are the suffering of the others ari Esther said so I guess they can feel other emotions. Mm -hmm. I guess uh, why when the girlfriend cries after the sex scene, they yeah. all draw from her. And that happens her a few time. times yes. in this movie. Absolutely. Yes. And it's like they're all interconnected. Yes. You know? Either that or they're all just crazy. <laughs> oh, we've got to mention that Very Mark, Mark has been uh, yeah. eyeing up this one chick yeah, yeah. Uh, a couple of times. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, he's thinking he's going to hit that. And... Uh, I mean, how rude. He's sitting there vaping at the table. I'm just such a douchebag. Oh, douche he's... Uh, the, these other people, like the... the, the part, I wouldn't tolerate him for a second. Part of the so society, yeah, within Mark, yeah, I, I'd have him out of there right away. I'd be yeah. talking to... Yeah, you know, I, I'd skin his ass, too. Say, well, you got to get this Mark out of here. <laughs> right, come on. You, or, Can we just drop him off a cliff Mark somewhere? Here. Yes. Get him out. Get him out of here. God, look at Pops there. Jesus. Yeah. Look like death warmed over. <laughs> At 72. Yeah. Or 73. I mean, maybe you get to live through your 72nd year, and after that, you're, you're toast. Perhaps. Perhaps. Yeah. Well, we, we find out other things, too. I mean, you mm -hmm. don't necessarily have to be 72 uh, to, you know, get the axe. No, but no, no. There's, there's Sometimes you got to volunteer. 
But, the, but they the, do this little ritual. Um, it's interesting to watch. I mean, it's just it's it's ethereal. It's it's otherworldly, like we've said a few times here. Mm-hmm. Um, I can imagine you know just being an outsider in a, in a situation like this and just you know feeling so isolated. To, yeah, I mean, I would love to be part and see something like this, but I I can't take the chance of me you know <laughs> this movie being the back of your head. Yeah, being uh, you know okay. not, not if I see a bear, I'm like I'm out. No, yeah. no, no, not me. Can't live through it. Not the kid. <laughs> yeah, it's just too much. Crazy. Mm-mm-mm. But they, yeah, they eventually all get up and, and drink their wine and their toast. Yeah, I don't know what there's Some honey mead or something. That's good stuff. Honey mead? Ah, who knows? I don't uh, know. You're awful busy over there. Uh, just looking up stuff on... Uh, looking up stuff, all right. Yeah, looking up stuff on um, the movie. But um, the movie. what are they drinking? Some vodkas? Well, that's, I don't know. That's probably mule piss. <laughs> <laughs> mule piss? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah let's oh, drink it. Lord. It's like everything's made out of wood and rocks, but yet they have these glasses. Well, I mean, you got to drink out of something. I don't know. Your palm of your hand. Flattenware. Cow bladders. <laughs> Cow bladders. <laughs> So here, this is going to get interesting. We are going to, uh, because uh, Pele had mentioned. Who's that guy? He looks awful familiar. He's been in other movies, but he. Oh, a, God, I don't know. It's a bit role in here, if anything. Oh, I, I don't know if I've seen anybody in this movie before. I hadn't seen mm. anybody in this movie I, I hadn't seen in anything before. Okay, yeah. So so the two elders, they're carrying off. They put them in like a chair. like a Yeah, like, like an Egyptian, you know, yeah, pharaoh. Like, like Cleopatra. Carrying away. Oh, and I, I guess we should mention that the, the day before, yeah, uh, Pele had mentioned that you know the next day would be the at the, the at the stupa, at and the what at the stupa. Oh, okay. All right, that's what this ritual right here is, the the big one. Okay. And Josh knows what it is. He even says, "For real." Mm-hmm. And you know, Pele just kind of gives him a smile, and like you know, this. And I think Danny asks, you know, what is that? He's like, I can't really explain it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, here we go. We're going to see what the ad is stupid is. What's so hard about explaining? Oh my god! A couple god. old people jump off a damn cliff. Well, this is the this is the part that gets everybody, and this is the turning yep. point in the movie. Oh, but let me say that while they were having the dinner, yeah, all right, right. When I'm at the theater, this is when Bubba Bay and his bitch, oh boy, have had enough of this movie. Okay, I think they were expecting us or a Tyler Perry movie okay. or something. And decided because the, the trailers did make it seem like it was a horror movie, you know that yeah, you know you're down yeah. with the horror. Yeah. They got up and left. Down with the old people. Thank Christ. Yeah. Thank Christ. They got up and they got left. up and left. They got up and walked out of the movie, and it's just kind of funny that they got up and left right before this part. When when it got because I can just imagine what they would have hooped and hollered about. Oh my God! If if they had seen this. What oh, that, damn! What's that guy <laughs> jumping off that cliff for? Oh, hell no! <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, and, you know, and this this is a very cool scene. Uh, evidently, that should be a, a real architectural, or not architectural, geographical area, uh, yep. monument, or whatever it is. There's this jutting white rock that comes out to some with some ledge, and there's little... Easter Island type stones in the back. Yeah, little runic stuff. things. There. Yeah. And so everyone else is down and it's there. It's all white, you know. Yes, very stark. Yeah. You know what his original idea was? Hmm. Is you know like how they project films. You know they project it now. Like you might have a big giant screen. Yeah. But if it's a wider screen film, I mean, you could tell there's still screen up here. Right. He wanted to make that all white, just just oh. to like really build up the brightness yeah, okay. of it. And supposedly when the Blu-ray came out, that's what they were going to do. Instead of black bars at the top, it was going to be white. Mm. But I guess they decided not to format it that way. It was a pain in the ass or something. But it would have been uh, interesting. Yeah, I'm, Look what Ruben does in that book. He just paints all over these holy pages. Yeah, the, we'll learn what Ruben's all about. Yeah, Ruben's the incestual or he, incest he's kid. He's the oracle. Yeah, and, and he can't write. So he just <laughs> plots some. I think he can do much of anything. Paint on that. The Probably pages play with and himself. Stuff. Now check this out. They cut the hands yeah. of the two old people. Who are at the top and of the, the woman's gonna the go cliff. first. 
and there's the stone with several runes on it. She puts her hands on two. Now, if you yeah. pay attention to those two runes, right. you will see them again. Namely, one's going to be on Danny's clothes and one's going to be on Christian's clothes. Right. So, I mean, it's they're already being marked. Right. Before right. anything, man, it's these two. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like it's already preordained. Well, yeah, I think they've had this planned out. You know, or maybe it's not necessarily those two, but whatever those two symbols stand for. Mm-hmm. Will be you know, the final for, two. Yeah. So maybe that's probably more accurate, I okay. should say. Oh, she looks like yeah, she's no. almost getting another one of those panic attacks going. No, I, well, again, this is again, this is the turning point in this movie. Oh where, yeah. Where the shit hits the fan, and what would you do? Danny what would looks you do if you way saw up, this? and sees first the the woman elder mm-hmm. come to the cliff, and she's just standing there. Oh. oh yeah, just you know, oh. Looking at, oh, oh, it's brutal. In the image of how high up she is, and there's a round, like yeah. plat, you know, like rock on the yeah. bottom where some good size boulders. Yeah, where evidently, well, and it's flat, so that yeah. you know that's where splat. Yeah, you know that's where it's going to happen. And so, when you see that our our main characters there, you know. Uh, Christian and Danny are just watching, you know, kind of, you, you know, know you really know tense. Know what's going on. Josh has got his arms like this because I think he has a little bit of knowledge of what this might be, mm-hmm. and it's like, oh well, god, is this really what's going to happen? Is this really what's going to happen? Anybody <laughs> would know what's going to happen here now. I, I mean, know, but you know. he came into it kind of knowing what this meant, mm. and here we go, man. Come on, swan dive, baby. Because he's done, he's done a little bit more research, but yeah, she keeps looking down. Oh, she's looking right at her too. And oh, she, swan dive. She just flies oh, flat. Right on. Oh, look at her head. It's gone. And when she hits the the, the stone, yes. her face just it's gone. Flies off. It, it's it's a cool effect That's that rough. they did. But um almost to the point of it didn't look real. I mean, cuz you the latex uh, look of it. I don't know what that really I, I, I mean, mean, I've never seen anybody actually do that, so I don't know what that looks like in real life. I bet it's pretty damn close. Yeah, well, you, oh, you could be right. I mean, what's his name? Uh, uh, Simon, Simon and Connie. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Brian, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, oh, and, oh, look at it. Sh- oh, give her a time and all. And they show her face. I mean, it's just ripped apart, just to shreds. Yeah, there's it's, only it's, moments of gore in this mm. film, but man, just like in uh, yeah. Hereditary, just really effective, just the moment. When you just need enough. It. When you need it. See, that's what's cool. Mm-hmm. You don't need to dwell on it. Right. You don't need to watch it for five goddamn minutes. You don't minutes. need to dwell on it. Give me that little, it. just that little, because that stays in your head. Yep. Oh, now Pops is going to take his turn. Pops doesn't know what the hell he's doing, though. Aster loves his head trauma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. You know, it's a thing. You're, you're absolutely right, dude. It's a thing. I mean, after seeing two films of his, <clears throat> you, yeah. you're learning a little bit of what goes on inside this dude's head. Well, in the male elder... They didn't never said his name. Uh, he's getting ready. It's his turn. And he really, felt, did he think that was a good idea? Damn yeah. it! I can't See, keep that. She fell like this, flat like a plane, flat down, and the guy, for some reason, thinks I'm going to jump straight down. Feet with first. My, yeah, feet first. Yeah, look what he did. He fucked himself all up. Oh, I'm sorry. I just dropped where'd my where'd water. It go? Yeah, I'll pick it up and work. Uh, yeah. Don't worry about it. Um. So he goes feet first. So he doesn't. Technically, so he, he, himself, he, he telescopes you know? his spine, yeah. breaks his legs. I'll He's in a world of, of pain. pain, and but four people are ready for him. Yeah, four people are ready with a big goddamn Thor hammer, a big wooden, and they're all. It's mallet. like they can feel his pain because they're all screaming out here. <clears throat> oh God! At oh, least I'm, they show I, it from a distance. I'm like, what, what am I hearing? And here it's it's the movie because mm-hmm. my my ear. Pieces over mm. there, and the the noise is coming from there. That's weird. Oh, they just mashed potato his head. But yeah, the, the, another. This, these are some cryptic. They're gonna let this scenes. chick have a whack. Here you go, take a whack at the fucker. She does, oh, she does it so violently. I mean, Man. it's just like boom, and, and then Danny, it's done, right? Yeah. I mean, he, he's completely wasted. And then they give it to this thick thigh chick. All four like, of them. You know, here, take a need, whack at Pop. <laughs> evidently, all four of them need to do it. Uh, whatever, it's part man. of whatever. Look at it, and it does nothing. Look, wonk. did nothing. What a weak hit. I like how Josh really get, he goes. Oh my god, 
Yeah. It's like, oh, oh you mean the fourth hit got gotcha? you? Yeah, really? Not the joke. No, that not second one just split the head like a pumpkin, man. So Simon and Connie, like, they're just taking off. They're like, you know. Oh, Ingmar, did you not warn them? No, I'm sorry, grandmother, I did. I didn't tell them that people were going to jump off a cliff and kill themselves. Yeah, everybody's, like, kind of in so the this is like the new group. This is like the leader now, right? And she's trying to the explain to them. for them, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think her name is Siv. Yeah. And uh, she's trying to explain, you know, this is... the. This is our way. This is, you know, they gave themselves for this. This is, they wanted to do this. And she goes on to explain. You know, when we it's don't, my turn, I'll do it. Yes, because why would I want to grow old, break down, mm -hmm. become unhealthy, you know, hurting and pain yeah. from everything that old age brings you? She goes, I'd rather, we'd rather go out, you know, healthy and happy. Uh, for and the for next... what their village thinks for a reason, right? For a know. reason, so mm -hmm. yeah, definitely interesting. But uh, but she's trying to explain to them. Simon the still ain't buying. He's like, "Yo, fucked. Well, yeah. yo, fucked. <laughs> well, yeah, no, that's it's." But nuts, Danny, yeah. I don't know, man. She's had this cathartic moment here. Just yeah, she's got a straight on glaze. You know, she's she's, she's got like... no family. She has nobody, and um, I don't think she said, "Hey, you know, eh, this looks." Like, this may be where I fit in. Yeah, you know. But. I don't think that, but, you know, she's, she's got some shock going you know, on. You know what I mean? No expression. Would you split after this? If you were here, would you say, okay, it's time for me to go? I would say so. Or would you just, okay, that's their way. Well, I'm just going to chill and I'm going to watch. I wouldn't let nobody know I'm I'm going. I wouldn't be yeah. going, hollering out, I'm it's leaving. It's a good thing this movie happened because now we know in the future, if we're ever in this situation, don't tell anybody. Just disappear. No, man. No. Just run out in the woods. Yeah, you wait till late Call the night. cops. And also, because of Call where the they cops, are, they're very your... isolated. None of them have any cell phone service. Get your plane ticket. Because just... they've all got phones, but they can't. Right. You can use the camera, but you can't use... Uh, can't call anybody. Yeah. Can't get a pizza. Can't call Little Caesars. Nothing. Danny does head back behind, away from everybody, and screams like crazy. And the other folk come yeah, to that. Look at them. They all act like it ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Well, they're used to this. You know, any call. Yes. You know, you're born being taught these ways. Well, how do you feel about their ways? And what goes their ways? How do you feel about it? Do you agree with it? I don't, if we take away what they did to all of them, I mean, if, why they bring in the outsiders, and, and technically I guess they did it to, for sacrifices, right? Not, all, not completely. They also uh, will find later they need to prevent too much inbreeding every so often they have to bring in outside blood. So you're asking me then, though, it, do so I So what think about that, that? Instead of being all sick and dying... Well, no. Is, are is you it, asking it, me about that, or yeah. are you or asking me about? Is it better to take about, a swan dive, or are you asking me about the whole their society and, I guess. and the cult? You know, I mean, itself. after after seventy three, what are you going to do with your life anyway? You can be just as healthy at eighty three if you want. But you could you could take a swan dive, and it's just done. And then you'd lost ten years. Maybe. What if what if you live to be ninety three? You've lost twenty years. How many ninety three year olds you know? How good are they getting around? There's a lot. Every 93-year-old I know, they all want to die. Well, I don't know a single one of them that wants to be around. There's some healthy ones. <laughs> there, there's some. My point is, if you're able to live as long as possible being healthy, there is uh -huh. that chance. You know what every old person tells me? I, I don't get old. I understand, Todd. Hey, there I'm feeling it in my bones, too. So maybe we should just take but, a swan dive now, man. Let's do it. But, what do you guys think? But but, get, but yes, do it, do it, film it. But getting to their whole culture right. and society, is is it is it right? No. How would you like your daughter to go with Pele uh -huh. to this festival uh -huh. and never come home because they're going to sacrifice her? She's not to, going to be sacrificed. To, she gives herself willingly. <laughs> what? Your, your your daughter, you don't care if she gives herself willingly to this girl? Well, at what point do you let them make their own decisions? She's of age. What if she didn't make... These people aren't making their own decision. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. They they're could run out in the middle of the night if they wanted to. They got a truck. Well, th that's an interesting point, but... 
still. They just want to do it, man. This is their way. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. You tri- you tri- <laughs> Nobody's yeah. watching anyway. You're, you're like, well, well, they'll be listening, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> Nobody listens. But um, that's for sure. no, they'll be listening, that's for sure. Uh, on iTunes. Leave, ah, leave, leave the us, iTunes. Leave, leave us some feedback. Guys. Um, after um, the at the stupa ritual, yeah. Um, Christian decides this is a great time to make the decision to study these people for my dissertation. (laughs) Specifically this group of people. Oh, after everything they just seen, (laughs) Christian (laughs) and Josh are going to have a big argument in the frickin', you know, The dormitory. The 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 barracks. barracks, The dormitory. You know, about... You know, who gets the right to do their dissertation. Right. It's like, Um, this is what you're going to argue about? Sounds like Josh is fully invested in this, and this, and Christian knew damn well this is what he's doing. Yeah. And now Christian sort of wants to, um, in my opinion, as well as Josh, is lazily. Yeah. Um, lazily. Piggy, piggyback off that. Right. You know, he's like, oh, I'm willing to collaborate, you know, whatever. But whereas Josh is doing Midsummer Festivals in several European countries, mm-hmm. um, Christian wants to focus specifically on this one. They're called the Harga. Right. Uh, the people there. So he specifically wants to focus on these. So he and Josh have a little falling out there. And he goes outside and there's Maya. And he sees her. And there's She's got her making... eyes set on him. Yep. And it, her mother comes up to talk to her. Oh, yeah. Hey, how you because doing? Because she yeah. can't talk to him yet. But... Right. And they're, they're right. decorating. To talk to him. What are they doing? They're decorating a Christmas tree, it looks like. Yeah, but a tree. Something. Yeah. You know, and it's going to be well, kind of like a. That's a pagan symbol right there. And yeah. everybody in this country does it. At Christmas, Christmas time. Yeah. Biggest yeah. goddamn pagan symbol in the world. The Christmas tree? Pretty much. Yeah. And they just drag it in their house every year. Same thing with the Easter Bunny. How the hell did the Easter Bunny and Jesus get all mixed up together? It's an interesting story and you should learn it. Yeah. That's uh, another show. Felix says, my family lives until their late 90s, early 100. Wow, my grandma's ninety. Good genes, brother. My my grandma's ninety and doesn't take a single pill for health. She's in perfect physical health. Yep, until Felix she breaks that man. one hip, then it's gonna go downhill from there. I would. I'm kidding. I no, would, but seriously, bless her heart. Yeah, and love her as long as you can, because it seems like I got a lot of experience. One little accident will happen, oh, yeah. and then unfortunately, you know. But then you get. You know, these family lines, like, you know, he's yeah, talking I mean, about it, it where... it typically is genetic, they, you know, those longer... They live until their late you know, 90s and yep. almost 100 years old. And but I, I, my family's all mixed up. We're all over the place. There's some that yeah. are old, some that, you know, died when they were 52. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what... I mean, roll the dice. I have no idea what I'm going to get. Well, well, hey. You know. But good for you. That's why I masturbate as much as See, I can. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> So, so we so we come back, uh, Danny. She's packing her bag. I'm out. Yeah, she she can't handle it, and she's just saying, "I'm going home." But this is where uh, Pele. This is a good scene. Starts to you know let her know what's going on. You know, well, I mean, he, hey. he understands her feelings. He knows what's happened to her. He even says when they're way back at the beginning of the film, when they're at the apartment, you know, I never got the chance to tell you. I'm sorry about what happened. And that's because he's experienced something like this. He says, you know, his um, family died in a fire. Some people online speculated that, you know, maybe his family were sacrificed or whatever, but that was 90 years. So that only happens once every 90 years. So that's not what happened. Mm. His family legitimately died in a fire. Yeah. yeah. Um, but he says, you know, I live in a whole village here that uh, embraced me, made me, you know, I never wanted for anything mm. uh, because I had a family. And he's like, you know, you didn't have that. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, he's worming his way in there a little bit, you know. I mean, you know, putting his hand on her hand, putting his hand on her leg, you know. And he even makes some quite, you know, motions about Christian saying, you know, you know, I always felt that I was home here. It's like, you know, when you're with Christian, do you feel like you're home? Right. Because he realizes that she, he's all she's got. Right, right, yeah. And does he feel like home? Perfect setup for... For what'll happen? A cult bringing already, a member in. Already putting the, the doubt in there. Yeah. yeah. He knows what he's doing. But at the same time, yeah, okay. I feel like he's being 
sincere about what he's saying. I think he is because he, he believes because he, in what he what right. he. This is the ways of his people. This is what yeah. he believes. And good, good or bad, it's it's what he's right. been raised. So I think he's being sincere. He yeah, yeah, but it's also having a different effect on her. Maybe it's making her more susceptible to it. I don't know if he's purposely doing that. Right. I don't know. I just feel like he's a good guy. I don't feel like he's got malicious. I don't feel like any of these well, people yeah. necessarily have a malicious intent. Well, Ted, it's just their way and their way of looking at things. That's the point of that I'm trying to get across with cults. I mean, none of them really do because they don't know any better. I'm they down think, with their way of things. They think they're doing good and appeasing gods and all this other stuff. But, I mean, you know. That's good, man. A good god demands sacrifice. The most <laughs> excellent sacrifice you can make. Just like in The Wicker Man. Yeah. Yep, it all worked out. The Wicker Man, they looked like they were happy, man. They were bawling in the grass all over the place. <laughs> bawling. Singing, dancing, having a great time. They were bawling. That tight-ass police officer lands there. Oh. And, you know, oh, the body's being... Uh, being uh, cremated. Quick glimpse back to uh, yeah. yeah we the, needed to see that again. The people who dove off the cliff and they're being burned and they'll I, leave that going overnight. That's how I because this fire never ends. No, it's, no, it's that like, fire stays lit all the time. Yeah, it's been lit for a hundred and fifty thousand years. Do you want to be buried or cremated? Cremated. Me too. But I want to be cremated like that, like on an open pyre. <laughs> I would too. You know, if yeah. I could do it, I would. So I wonder if we're allowed. Float out. But then I want someone to like push me out into the lake or something. If, if I'm... Let me burn like King Arthur. Put you know? me in charge. I'll, I'll put you over a pit. All right. Roast me. Yeah. You know? and, and then I'll put you in a little boat and I'll put you maybe the Kaga River maybe? Or, oh, yeah, yeah. You know. Get lit on fire once. Why I'll, not again? <laughs> I'll throw an arrow. I'll shoot an arrow. Not Boom. throw one. I'll shoot You'll me. miss. <laughs> It'll take me 50 tries. Let me try again. Son, give me another arrow. <laughs> oh, fuck it. <laughs> I'll burn you. He doesn't know he's dead. The whole boat, the whole boat's co gas him. covered with gas. <laughs> Don't let that boat go. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. No, she I looks really it. pretty there. She does. I, I haven't th seen her in anything else. She's been in a couple of movies, some serious Has movies. She? she looks like she's got some thighs. Well, she's a little different. You know, a little she, different shape. I like it. Yeah, she almost has a little pear shape there. Yeah, I'm, a little I'm bit. Right. I'm all right with that. But she's got that cute face. That's know, what I like the most, man. I don't need to see nothing. Makes else. you feel sorry for it too. And, I do. But what's going on here is this is the big at, scene that was taken out. That's in put thanks back and in. praise, great goddess, we bestow upon this modest gift. So there. You know, that's another thing about these. A lot of these pagan. You know, they have a goddess, not not a. I love how they run that tree that they all the way their gift. Into yep. the water and just That's throw right. it. Isn't it kind of funny how a lot there's of there's a guy other... across the across the river with the big horn going, <laughs> and then the apes just come running the out apes. on their horses, <laughs> <laughs> and he winds them all up. Oh, that's a different movie. Yes. Some guy comes out and says, I, I'm sorry, I interrupted well, you. Well, no, because they're talking about the goddess. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they're telling this little story, the rumbling, whatever. But it's kind of funny, you know, and I almost kind of agree with it, you know. You take these monotheistic religions, and, and the god has to be a man. You know, he's got to have a dick. You know, yeah. man. But yet, all the other pagan ones, you know, it's it's Mother Earth. It's it's a goddess. You know, and which is the life giving element of right. man and female. And uh, I just find that kind of funny. That seems more natural right there. Than yeah. Well, and what are they doing right here? But the guy comes out and says, "I think the." Uh, I guess she likes to eat trees. I think the gods are still angry. I heard some rumbling. Yeah. Oh, uh, and, and the she's woman still says hungry. she could use me. And the woman said, "I, I didn't hear nothing." But and nevertheless, some small boy, who I thought it was a girl, um, comes out, and he's all decorated and stuff, and and he's he's yeah, willing it looks to like give. Looks like he's got pine tree shit on him. He's or willing to give himself up and sacrifice himself for. Uh, the goddess. Yeah, how brave you uh, are, little Broar. Yeah, Broar. I like that name, Broar. That's a, that's a cool name, Broar. They got some cool names out there I in think I, I'd area. name my kid Broar. What's he going to do? Are they just going to throw his ass in the water? I, I guess. Oh, my God. They're just going to pick his ass up. She's like, are they going to kill that kid? Oh, hell no. Interesting. Interesting. I'm just watching because you know this wasn't in the theatrical, so you know I'm not as familiar with this, this part. Scene. Wasn't no. This was this whole big thing, this whole big scene. Okay. Where it's kind of dark was added in. Like I they, said, they put this the was rock. the biggest. Okay. Scene. 
Um, they put the rock on the kid, and the kid's probably only like 10 years yeah. old or something like we're gonna that. We're going to drown the fuck out of this kid. And they're going to toss him in. But Danny starts hollering and saying, no, 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 don't do this. Mm-hmm. And they actually, somebody actually does come out. I think the mother, no. A woman Leave comes him be. He has says, shown his bravery. Because just right. the fact that he was willing to do it, he showed how brave he was. Yeah. We spare the child. Yeah, so they spare him, which is good, you know. Mm-hmm. But it's just a so ritual Danny, to show, yeah. you know, that you are willing to offer, you know, a, a child to to the goddess. It's, it's not odd, and don't say nothing. But what? It, it's it's not odd that we're at four people. I don't think in four years of doing videos live mm-hmm. that we've ever had just four viewers. I'm at five thousand six hundred subscribers. Yeah, and. I'm. I got four people watching. You yeah. can have somebody with ten subscribers get four people watching. Well, yeah, you put some and everybody, on there. everybody, not everybody, kind of abandoned for n- no reason whatsoever when it comes down to it. Mm-hmm. But anyways, I'll. I'm going to reevaluate shit, man. When I'm done. <laughs> reevaluate. But, but but we'll see. I mean, we're going to finish this off. But this is it. Um, this is the farewell show. Well, I mean, Ted, we've come four years. These are our people. Five thousand. Well, there would be a lot other people in this chat, but you what, know what? they've been swayed into <gasps> different things Let's do and it. thoughts and. It, they're gone. I don't even get to see regular people that are usually here and stuff. I, I, I know we've got a following on iTunes. They'll listen and they'll hear it. But it's just it's just amazing to me that four people showed up the, for, for all this time to, to watch. Well, fuck it. Let's quit. No, no. I'm, well, <laughs> Anyways, let's we'll get back to if anybody heard that, it was just me rambling a little bit because um, you know this big scene here. Guess I'm a terrible person and and I'm not. You're a but racist. anyways. Um, you're just not so here we go. racist. <laughs> and a sexist. Because you don't like Brie Larson. So so Danny <laughs> Danny here. Is, yeah, they're having this he God, look at the eyes on him. Yeah, he don't Star Lord's got these care. big doe like eyes. Three. Somebody just left. <laughs> They're like, screw it. I'm not going to be insulted. I'm leaving. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Talk about the movie. I'm not talking about nothing. Huh? <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, I guess we'll, we'll finish it for the... It's uh, got an hour to go. <laughs> for, for the iTunes show, but the phone is dying. Let's, uh, okay. Uh-huh. No, I just got it. Yeah. Uh, pretty big scene that was added back in. Um, it just further illustrates the disintegration of their relationship. Reviews from the beyond. Maybe YouTube is not giving out notifications right. Their system sucks. I'll show. Uh, no, it's it's no. all right. Reviews. Um, Thank you, dude. Yeah, I mean, I, I appreciate it. But I love you guys, man. You guys are fun. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I don't even know what to say anymore. But yeah. Uh, so so what's uh, Danny's just bitching out Christian? Well, I mean, he's using that uh, whole thing about when she gave him the flowers, like. There was something sinister behind it because he forgot her birthday. Yeah. You know, he, he's really just, you know, projecting, deflecting, um, using any excuse he can to, to maybe just, you know, bring this relationship to a head and, and rip it off like a, like a Band-Aid. I wonder who um, took off. She feels like, uh, yeah. what's that? Oh, no. Got oh, okay. You know, and, and she's actually, I think, being pretty rational and logical about the whole thing. Like, you know, I didn't mean anything about it. Just, you know, I thought it was nice. And, you know, um, you know, it's a fight about nothing. And this is what happens when relationships are going bad. You just, you, you fight about nothing. Yeah. You'll get mad about any little thing that nobody would get mad about. Right, right. And here, here you go. He's going to go storming off. And, um, you know, it wasn't necessarily that important to the plot. But it's just, you know, one Sounds more. Sounds good, John. One more big illustration of, uh, I think, just Christian being really, you know, emotionally not there. Yeah. Um, kind of callous. I mean, she, she went through something big. And it's not that it's his responsibility necessarily to care for her, but, you know, the poor girl doesn't have anybody else. You know, and you've been with the girl for four years, for God's sake. I mean, 
No, oh, here you go. She's not a piece of trash. She keeps getting uh, sleeping pills from uh, Josh. Too. I need one, too. Every time they show them sleeping, you know, like the two hours that it's dark, yeah, yeah. you always hear some baby crying. Every damn time. Well, and what was the thing with, um, what's her name? Was it Maya? Mm-hmm. Uh, who put, like, a pair of scissors behind the baby's pillow? Did that happen already? Yeah. Okay. Or earlier on in the okay, movie. Okay, I might have missed it. I know, I know I the part. I don't know what that was about. I don't really know the significance of that. I mean, them. I know what she did with the shears. You know, trimmed her pubes. Right, right. And she's going to put it in Christian's food. But I don't know what it had to do with... Like putting um, it under the baby's pillow. Yeah. It's a good question. See, I don't... Yeah, I'm not coming into this claiming, you know, that I know everything about this movie. Thank you, reviews. Appreciate and, it. And... Um, I've seen, you know, I've, this is only my, well, watching it here, doing the commentary, this is the third time watching it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I've only seen it twice, you know, where I really paid attention. Now this, you get the feeling, I like this scene, because you see Mark in the back there, and, it's, and he's it's, got it's, a really weird face. It's a nightmare, too. I mean, she's having this dream where they're abandoning her, and they're taking her I mean, off that is the Mark car. just staring at her, right? Yeah. Okay, because he's got some weird face. I was wondering. In the back. And she starts to scream, and yeah. this black smoke comes out of the... You mean sort of like car exhaust? Dirty car exhaust. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we needed to see that yeah, again. We... And they keep <laughs> cutting to the like hammer going down Oh, the but face. it juxtaposes against her mother's face. And look here, her parents oh. and her sister lying Symbolic there. of like kind of Jesus Christ in a way. Jesus I mean, Christ. And the cross. You know, it almost looks like on that rock where she landed, you yeah. can't see it, and you certainly didn't notice it when they showed the looking down. Right. But it almost looked like there was a rune carved on the top of it. I wonder, mm-hmm. maybe that was like part of the game, you got a bullseye that sucker on the way down. Could be, yeah. Oh, here she goes. Now, what she's got in her hand, this is Maya. Yeah. She's got a, uh, uh, like a love stone rune. She's um, looking at Christian. Yep. And she's going to put that under his bed. Josh is half awake and notices her do it. Um, she doesn't know that, though. And, it, yeah, she puts it under his bed, supposedly, again, to make him um, want her. And she ain't that good looking. Well, well, you don't think so? I kind of, you, yeah, you dig that? I kind of dig mine. You dig yeah. that 15-year-old trend? That's, she's 18. Actually, the actress was 20. But. Well, tw- or, or 20, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I looked it up to make sure it was okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. She, she's, yeah. This she's ain't a Polanski film. 20 years old. Well, she's freaking full on nude in a, in a little bit here. So oh, full on. Don't you love the old this lady the that's hereditary. shoving his ass? Oh, God. This is like hereditary. Like, they get the, like a Dow House look Yeah, to it. yeah. It's kind of cool. Now, what I do hope, I mean, mm-hmm. I, I see the similarities yeah. between what Ari Aster's doing in, in his first two films. I hope it's just not like his... He's like one trick thing. Like every movie is going to have that kind of look. You know, I mean, he's got a style, but I hope yeah. I hope each movie's got its own style. You know, like a yeah, Kubrick yeah. movie. You know, each each film is so vastly different from the I other th- films. I think, it, I think he will. So I hope I mean, we'll, so. We'll see. We'll see. You know, it'll probably be a couple of years before we get something from him. And what so. do they take? They take the ashes of the two elders mm-hmm. who they burnt and they take them to that tree there's an ancestral tree a dead ancestral tree, tree yeah. and i think all the ancestors all the elders as yeah. they you know participate in this at the stupa i like to pronounce it that way yeah festival right. their ashes get thrown at the base of this dead tree yep and it's, they all live through that where, tree where mark's gonna piss in a little bit again yeah oh my god he said it looks like he's wearing the same clothes every time we see him too yeah, yeah. he's always got that stupid shirt on Stupid shirt. You don't uh, like that shirt. I don't man. like that shirt. I don't like his face. I don't like anything. Don't no. like it. But see, that's just a good actor, man. Because you know. Did he play in? Um, did he play in the new Halloween movie? That Mark. I put that character? movie out of my mind. L- l- let me. Th- I- I'm curious what else he was in. Oh, look him up, man. Uh, I'm going to. Um, let's see. Mark was in uh, Midsummer, Black Mirror. Enough Maze uh, Runner. Oh, that's where I've seen him from. Maze Runner movies. Uh, I don't know. Um, you watch those? I don't watch those. The Maze Runner movies are pretty good. If you say so. Yeah. Ain't my kind. It's like watching Hunger Games or something like that. I mean, what's the what's point? What's wrong with that? It's lame. It's good. But yeah, that's where I remember seeing him from. Um, Maze Runner. I'm like going, where do I know that kid from? And that's where I know him from. So, 
You know maybe why I don't like those movies? Hmm. Or books or whatever? Because I know in the future it's not going to be like that. If the future becomes anything, yeah. it's going to become the Road Warrior. All right? If the future is going to become anything, it's going to be that. A wasteland and everybody for themselves and scavenging in little bands here and there. Yeah. That'll be the future. I think... Um, not with these, you know... Oh, here's the... Um, oh, you're right. Mark dis- taking away... In front of everybody. Put your disgusting, disgusting dick, dick away. away. You're peeing in the... I mean, yes, he did tree. go on the other side of the tree, but there's still tons of people around. My little fucking American friend, he pissed on the Rotvalta. <laughs> Rotvalta. No, and they're all pissed. I mean, this guy's name to... is Ulf, and he is not to be messed with. No, he's pissed. Uh, I would be, but someone. I wonder why he them. takes it so uh, personally. I don't know why. Maybe those were his relatives or something. Somebody had to. I mean, but I mean, look at—he's down on the ground screaming, crying like he's you know some radical Muslim or something like that. Ah, no. Maybe it was his parents who were just cremated or grandparents or something that's well yeah. that's what i said you know i don't know maybe that was were his direct relatives i mean it looks like he's hyperventilating look they, they all have to but wipe the his thing, forehead the thing is that mark doesn't give a shit either right he's like i had to pee I, you know he's like you and know. admittedly he didn't know no, you would think true, true it would be one of the first things you would show people they're not gonna like this is our out. ancestral tree it's very special it's very holy right you know um, if you, you you're welcome to go anywhere you want, but you know, kind of stay away from there. Mm. No, but we're not going to do that. No, right, right. But again, he's still an ass. Yeah, I mean, he gets his vape pen. Yeah, out I mean, he, he doesn't even really he, he apologize. Looks at the girl. For it. No, not yeah, so. he looks at her. It's like, what did she say about me? Because she's because she's yeah, the one. that's all he's worried about. Yeah. What'd she say about? Me? What else did she say? Mm. And Christian, uh, yeah, I guess, and Danny who. I thought broke up the night before, but it sure seemed like it. But I guess they, they seemed, haven't officially. Yeah, they seem to be okay now. Does it seem to you that there's just not enough housing here for all the people that live in this village? I literally see like three buildings. Yeah, I don't know how that works, but it doesn't look like. I mean, like that house in the background there. Mm-hmm. That could house what? There could be six bedrooms in there. Oh, I mean, if they were Russians, I yeah. mean, there'd be about 85 people living in that Well, that's house. what I'm saying. I mean, it, this is a... With a no sus- deodorant and all of them smoking cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, you know, a little cult society here. So who knows how many people are living in just You really like to throw that, that word cult too. around, don't you? Well, that's cult ex- this, cult that. It's what it is, Ted. Cult classic. Cult. <laughs> cult cold personality you don't actually you know for all the light in in this in this film you never see the sun yeah you know Mm. like there the sun's out now connie she wants to split but she finds out that simon's gone Mm. her boyfriend's gone and they're gonna give her the lamest ass excuse they certainly are as to i mean i wouldn't buy that for a new york minute well right i would have been out of there well She's pissed off, and she knows that she Simon can't find, left her well, behind. Right, because this elder is going to come running, hop, skipping, and jumping up to the door. He's going to say she went on train. Connie, he, Connie. Simon went on train. Right, he wanted to leave, so you know he wanted her to get there. Reggie he, got him in the truck and took him. She's like, "Well, he didn't tell me he why would he in five minutes for you?" Right, he's like, "Well, there's only room in the truck for two. Like, well, nobody can sit in the back, you know." And and the the yeah. lamest ass excuse. I they, oh, I could. I I wouldn't buy it for a second, and I think she just takes up, man. She goes marching out, man. Screw it, I'm walking. Yeah, they'll meet me. But see, that's kind of stupid too. She shouldn't be just like taken off. But well, yeah, I mean these these something's tourists, rotten in Denmark over here. Or, these tourists Sweden, are just <laughs> mm, not doing the right things. That's no, for damn sir. sure. No sir. No sir. No. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. That yeah. is not correct, sir. And and that's just another thing that you know. It's cool about this movie. You just you know, like it ain't no thing. We're just like, gonna I, tell. I like how the picture is framed way back, mm-hmm. and you see uh, Danny come out to just observe what's mm-hmm. going on and being sad. And let's put it this way, you know, I just thought of something. Here. What way? The way you know how he does, uh, divides their life up at like the four seasons. Right. So you have spring, mm-hmm. which is you know you're one through eighteen. Right. And then summer would be 18 to 36. Yeah. She's obviously in her maybe early mid 20s. That puts her at midsummer. Yeah. Of her life. Yes. Midsummer. Yes. There we go. Well, Belle Biv DeVoe. Now that's you know, the movie. I figured it all out. We'll see you guys next time. Yeah, maybe.
And well, yeah, what what am I on talking the next about? exciting episode of, <laughs> <laughs> of the Dino and Ted commentary show? Yeah, that's right. Whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> well, maybe we should just have a couple of chicks on the show. I mean, you know, maybe if we, uh, I think we should get two chicks. Have <laughs> one, both of them not be that good looking, but if you live in your mom's basement and you're not getting any sex, you know, you'd probably have sex with them. Yeah. Maybe one of them could paint herself up like a dead whore. Oh, God. Um, what? And everybody could just stand around and, and, and talk about whatever the latest thing is. Yeah. We could talk about Jason, Freddy, and Chucky, Michael Myers, ad nauseum. We could. We you could. know, until people get so sick they vomit. Well, and, yeah. uh, they wouldn't vomit, though. Oh, they would. And, you know, we could They'd love it. wax on and on about our delusions of grandeur that we're going to get picked up by uh, some major studio producer. So what's going on here? And uh, make a million dollars. Uh, so make what's a going million on? dollars. Oh, Danny comes up and uh, talks to him about um, what's well, he? T- Connie and Simon and, and yeah, that they're they're missing and stuff. Yeah, like that, that now. Simon just left without her, and he's like, "Oh, really? What a he dick goes, move!" He goes, "What a dick move!" And, oh, by the way, yeah, because <laughs> he's he's actually, you know he's interviewing people for his dissertation. Well, and then he asks the guy. He goes. Um, uh, how, how's it, you don't mind me asking about you know are there any incest or anything like that uh, that goes on in the you know and it is a, a legitimate question but it's kind yeah. of funny that he asks that question right, right. you know um, of all people and the right. guy does say that yeah. um, you know the bloodlines are protected you know nobody can mate without approval mm-hmm. you know the the heads of the village keep records of who's mating with who um, to keep who's the bloodlines as pure as possible. Yeah. You know, I think he said something like cousins are allowed to sometimes, but not often. Right. Um, and Danny splits. And she walks by the kitchen and everybody's like, hey, bitch, come on in. Help us cook. Yeah. You know, because that's what we do. We cook for the men folk. Come in and make some hair pie. Hair pie. Because that's what they're going to be making. Come well, one guy gets hair pie. Yeah. But I mean, come on. How, how many times have you gotten a pie? And yeah, you know, you could. Oh, because they do show Maya put that yeah. one pie off to the side. That's right. That's Christian's yeah, pie, baby. That's right. I mean, I've gone to like KFC, gotten a pot pie. And, you know, you get the hair out. You're like, ah, Paco. Mm. <laughs> there Paco. it is. <laughs> Seinfeld. Yeah, but it was a rubber band, though. <laughs> right. It was a rubber. Imagine getting a rubber band in your soup. What the hell? But see, he doesn't give a shit about it. He doesn't care. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Hey, <laughs> guys. Ugh, long day. Pardon um, you. Now, this is their holy temple area. Along the walls here are all the holy books. There's a lot of holy right. books, man. And uh, he's explaining to, the elder is explaining to Josh. Don't you like how they all have the same kind of covers mm-hmm. over all the years? Yes. Because they use the same material. Mm, I guess so. Uh, now, look, see, they've got the, uh, and he explains how Reuben is the oracle. He writes or draws, paints, whatever in there, and then the elders interpret it. Right, and uh, it's kind of interesting when they, when they talk about Ruben. And Ruben, by the way, is that he, he featured pretty big in the trailer. You thought the movie was going to have him in it a lot. He's like in three scenes. Right, uh, the really malformed young boy. We see him right there from a distance. Yeah, and um, they mentioned that he is a product of, of purposeful inbreeding. Purposeful, um, purposeful inbreeding, uh, because. That creates a uh, a human being who is unclouded, mm-hmm. and um, the 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 spirit the the energy flows through him out his hands and into these paint smears on on the book that they paint interpret. His and he even asks, you know, what happens when when he dies? You know, is there a you know is there or, or no? He, this is before he was told that it was uh, purposeful inbreeding. You know, you go, do you just wait for another, you know, special type child to be born? And like, no, he was, you know, created on purpose. Yeah. So that's what they would do if Reuben died. They would, you know, purposely put two people together in a room, mm-hmm. see what happens, <laughs> and uh, yeah. hopefully get an inbred child. Mm. Ain't that lovely? That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. But that kind of stuff goes on here, downtown. It all goes on downtown. <laughs> downtown. Right? Downtown. Downtown. It's yeah. all downtown. Nobody knows what the hell we're talking about. Oh, God. People Seinfeld. have to watch Seinfeld. You it's know, all downtown. I actually, 
I, I work with a girl. And we were what talking part about TV we, shows. Uh, what does part Nick we Nick Cage have the bee helmet on yet? <laughs> now, see, I don't, I don't even get no, that because John. I didn't watch that. <laughs> three. So let me guess. Who's the three that's here? Uh, John reviews from beyond. Uh, maybe Felix. Are you here? So is that the three? We've got three people watching. We should get up and do some laundry. Yeah, maybe. We'll get start up and the do dryer. Laundry. Do some toe touches. Hey, there's some important <laughs> some, shit to watch here. Some toe touches. Watch the drinks. Okay, go ahead. Look at the drinks. Oh, I see them. Do you see? Do you notice the drinks? Yeah, it's placenta. It's, it's All blood. the drinks are a certain color, but Christian's is just a little, little bit, tinge darker. Yeah, a little. That's because he's got pussy blood in it. Oh God. And yes, he does. And he don't even notice. It'd be the first thing I notice. Like, why is my uh, drink? What's look, wrong with my drink? <laughs> mine's redder than all yours. <laughs> It is, really? You're serious? It is funny when he bites into it and he gets a piece of hair. In yeah, first bite? I mean, really? I mean, don't you get the crust first? She, she put a lot in there. You know what? Yeah, I guess you got to presume that she didn't just put one hair in there. Yeah, she probably put a... Ah! Oh, I know. <laughs> man. And, it's I, very fibrous. And see, they don't have the same kind of hygiene there that we got here. I mean, can you imagine? That's, you know, it's like a... That bush, you could probably plant tomatoes in it and water the shit. I mean, <laughs> and my dogs are listening. God bless them. Yep. So there's three more at least. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Oh my god! I don't know. I'd be noticing. What the? You hell? know, like what is going on with my drink? I don't want this drink. Can I get a different drink? Can I get a clean glass? <laughs> I'm moving my community. I'll let you guys uh -uh. know though. Okay. You're moving your community? Yeah, whatever. They probably know what I'm talking about. What com I love how um, everything's a community now. There ain't no community. A horror community? I mean, a lot of people like Three Stooges, but I ain't never once heard of a Stooge community. Right. You know? Yeah. I just dig the Stooges. Man. Oh, there's there's no community. Anyways. Um, so. Oh, check that out. So they're all sitting and not moving again. and the, Oof. It's just eyeing up Mark. Yeah, the four of them... Mark, oh yeah, he's pissed off at He's Mark. like, is that guy going to kill me? He pissed, right, right. But oh. they're all silent and waiting. Mm -hmm. But Danny, Christian, Josh, and Mark are sitting there like kind of arguing together. Yeah. Yeah, well, because uh, Josh asked uh, Christian a question about, you know, did you find anything out about whatever? And he's like, oh, now you want to collaborate. Huh? This is a Widowmaker concert. Oh. oh. No, there were more people at the Widowmaker concert. Not a lot, dude, but there were more. Yeah. <laughs> See, my Widowmaker concert. Oh, here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, he's going to pull a pube out of it. There you oh. go. Oh, and Mark's the only one who sees it. Dude, is that a pube? <laughs> Why wouldn't you think that maybe that was a chest here or something like that? Or Because the women made it. Yeah. I mean, unless it's a you know big long kinky titty hair. I mean, well, but why I mean, would you I mean, jump to like your old woman ever get like a nipple hair? Pubic hair. <laughs> How would it get in your food? No. Oh my God, are you all right? Ooh, the chair broke. <laughs> That's gonna. Fall what happened? Uh, it, Did I break it? No, it's. You're just able to lean back. Oh, okay. Go. I didn't know. Oh, he took a drink out of there. Almost an accident. The idea of a, a drink special in Cleveland is the bartender gives you a clean glass. Yeah, tell me about it. Oh. <laughs> That's why we drink our beer out of bottles, dude. <laughs> hey, I don't I, trust the guy. Have you guys tried oh. uh, Iron Maiden Trooper? Because I've had it a few times, but I had one the other day. Oh, no. yeah, she comes up to this that girl that Mark's been eyeing up. Yeah. Because they're just like, Get, come, I'll show you. And he just That's gets all up. she says. Yeah, and he gets up, the dumbass. He gets up, he's just like, um, she's going to show me. <laughs> oh, and we have to note later, and earlier, Josh is, earlier Josh in the film, thinking, they were sitting yeah. watching like people go around in the big daisy chain line, yeah. and they were playing a game called Skin the Fool. Yeah. Coming up soon. Coming to a theater New Year's, Skin the Fool. Oh, yeah. My Widowmaker concert, dude, was in the middle of December. Yeah. Um, a snowstorm. Felix is enjoying the stories. It was at a it was at a club called the uh, Flashes. You remember Flashes, right? Oh yeah, it was a yeah. little little nightclub down in our flats. Honestly, it, I mean the stage. There were area. tons of tons of nightclubs in mm -hmm. our flats, Cleveland. Flats. Well, that one wasn't in the flats. Um, lots of them in the flats. That one was kind of going towards like Rocky River Way. It was on uh, oh uh, hundred and it was on the rain. 
Okay. Going towards like 140. Well, 80s. There was a, nightclubs were a big deal yes. in the 80s. A lot of different ones. A lot of trains. A lot of them are still homes. around. Yeah. But uh, Flashes was a pretty cool club. I mean, it was a very small venue. Um, Pantera a played was it there. A cult? No, Pantera played there oh. when they were first starting out. Pearl Jam played there when they first started out. Ooh, Josh is running. Should we say it real quick? Yeah, he's Josh. gonna go. He was told. Yeah. When he, he was wanted with the to elder, take pictures and and he said and he was told specifically, absolutely not. Well, he's gonna go against the rules here and go take some pictures of it. So he's running in there and yep. he's going to snap pictures of the pages that Ruben right smeared all the paint because he and Christian like were explicitly given permission. Yeah. They can't use any names. They can't give away the location what of a, the Harga people. What an idiot. To, but to go in there and he's, take pictures. There's like a mirror. It's probably like a two-way mirror right That's there. That's what I'm watching him. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, why you take? I mean, all it is is smeared with shit. I mean, you can't see nothing. But um, the flats or the um, yeah. Oh, flashes. Flashes. It was. It was. Uh, I swear to God, dude. They were probably. I'm. I'm exaggerating, of course, but it seemed like there was only about 25 people to see Widowmaker. Oh God. Yep. So yeah. he thinks Mark walked yeah. in because right. the skin of Mark's face is this kind is, of on some male. Right. Even though they don't tell us, I think you can almost guarantee. He's oh, look how Ruben's naked. just laying right there. Ruben, yeah. Ruben's laying there. Oh, and Josh gets a smack with a Shovel to the head. Or sledgehammer. Whatever it is. Sledgehammer. Yeah. This, I mean, you can bet dollars to donuts. That's Ulf. Yeah. Who... Probably enjoyed himself immensely skinning Mark. Yeah. I mean, he's wearing... He was bottomless, though. Yeah. Yeah. He, I think he was wearing his legs. Full front. No, I think he was wearing the, the skin of his legs as well. Really? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, they didn't show... Well, they show enough. It's in the dark. But it is funny how Ruben was was laying back yeah. in that corner. You didn't there, even just, notice him at first. Yeah. But he's, he's so, right so there. So Josh is gone now. So it's yeah. just Christian and Danny yep. left. That's it. So uh, back to your uh, holes oh, yeah. and trains. But it was one of the flashes. best concerts. Yeah. Um, you know, no one knew who the hell Widowmaker was. Were you seeing anybody at the time? Was I seeing anybody at the time? No, I was a single man. Oh, so you, know, um, you were hitting it up? Oh, no, man. I was in for the show. Taking penicillin? No, no. no. It, was, it was all about the show. Oh. It, they played, the only Twisted Sister songs they played, I think they played uh, I Want to Rock. Um, no. Yeah. I want to rock. They sung that song. Yes, they did. And um, oh, I swear to God, they played at least two others, but I can't remember what they were. But, man, you just saw that big mound of blonde hair of D. Snyder coming out. and There was no one in the audience, no one in the crowd. It was a, You're sprayed up. Man. I mean, I was this close to D. Snyder right there, man. We were yeah. rocking. He yeah. was rocking. I was rocking. Were you guys talking? No, I didn't talk to him. You're but, this I mean, close and you don't talk to him. I've got nothing him. to say to D. Snyder. Why what am I going to say? No, I really like you. <laughs> I, I'm not that way. I never have any interest in meeting people that are famous. I've met some. Yeah. But I, I'm never all that interested. What the hell am I going to say? You know? That's why I don't pay the $1,000 to go meet Kiss in the back. You know, what am I going to say to you? Here, take my money. <laughs> You've taken enough of it my whole life. Yeah, I, no. I, I hear Gene's going to start selling his kidney stones. Yeah. Oh, I, I, you know, I told I told my wife. Can you imagine that? Up you were there. And I was like, little... we, we got to, if, if, if he actually breaks down those kidney stones and wants to sell some. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, yeah, you come can't on, break that. A, a piece imagine, of the demon. Can you imagine how much that would cost? That's Whatever Gene I, wants to charge for it. <laughs> that's why I don't drink Bloody Marys. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Boy, yeah. That's what they should have given him all tomato juice. Tomato he never would have known. So Christian and Danny come back to be confronted by a couple elders the holy book supposedly is, is missing. missing and uh um, i don't know it's not missing they're no, just using it they're as using that as an excuse to <clears throat> excuse me explain josh's disappearance yeah that he made off with it right which is very unlike him and right. christian oh yeah he's throwing him under the bus oh yeah no no mm-hmm. he's 100 he's saying like yeah, we would oh, never yeah. associate with that it's you know please don't think we have anything to do with it and mm-hmm. You know, and then there's Pele. Oh, I feel responsible. I brought them here. He knows what's going on, man. Of course he does. So they're going to, you know, deal with this issue later. Uh, they tell her, okay, Danny, you are to go with the women. And Christian, Siv would like to see you in oh. her house. Okay, now they're putting some concoction. Yeah, it looks like, into... oh, God, man. Metamucil right there. <laughs> Metamucil, that's. 
Like, you need to take a shit here. Take a glass of this. It's enough it? fiber in here. Yeah. Who, <coughs> who knows what that is? Root, um, menstrual stuff. I don't know. No. I, I don't know what it is. Cow dung. But it's, it's going to get all the May girls because they're all going to dance. And the last one standing what becomes the May Queen. The May Queen. And actually, all the girls know that, but Danny doesn't know that till the end. She doesn't know that when she's the last one, because Danny will be the last one standing, um, that she is the May Queen. Right. Uh, and I've never, you know, I've never heard of this particular ritual. It's kind of interesting. She even asks, you know, what's in this? It's like, ah, oh, it's just going you know, to let your inhibitions down a little bit, mm-hmm. make you feel pretty good. Yeah. We got to do this funny little. <laughs> Thing when we take the drink and yeah, yeah. and then they start doing this weird dance and and actually it, it is choreographed really cool and some over the top angles um i dig it man you know if i was a chick i'd be doing this i'd be dancing <laughs> dancing my ass off yeah. and there's even a cool part where it's like they understand each other right you know they start talking oh, to each other because like, they all start tripping a bit yeah and, and, and they understand what each other is saying and they're screaming back and forth to each other going i understand what you're saying yeah this is so weird See? And, you know? and but this is also more of her just being um included and accepted into the family mm-hmm. and slowly she's she's gonna feel more at home with these people yeah see she's wearing that symbol on the on the clothes there yeah oh yeah ain't, ain't, there's probably some mushrooms in there She's tripping and she looks down no, at her she feet. she be tripping. She be tripping. She's looking at her feet and the roots are coming up kind of. Yeah, because she be tripping. You're really good at explaining stuff to our listeners. Bitch, bitch be tripping. Yeah. Oh, well. I, I, actually, they tell you a very interesting story that it was here long ago that the black one lured the youths of the Harga to the grass and, and did something to yeah. them. Once they began, but this they is kind of the whole stop. point of their festival. I love when they, uh, this one lady here, like, yeah, man, you know, she lays it down. You know, she tells the, tells the story. But they talk about the, the fall of the black one. We dance until we fall. To keep it, the, the black one at bay. And the last will be crowned for her stamina. Mm-hmm. You got some good stamina. Who, who would <laughs> Who would have known that Danny would have had the stamina, the best stamina? I don't know. See, this is what I'm saying. You know, I know I kind of said maybe it was destiny at the beginning there a little bit, but how the hell are they going to know out of all these maidens that, you know, she's the one that's going to be standing at the end? I mean, unless they were all told to fall down. I don't yeah. know. And furthermore, furthermore, wouldn't it be a little odd more? for an outsider to be the May Queen? Yeah. Like, they seem to be, like, so excited about it. Be like, oh, she's an outsider. She don't belong here. She gets to be the May Queen. Fuck well, that. Maybe they know <gasps> the that that's... bear burning. Look at Christian just looking at that. Maybe that's part of the thing too, though, to to bring in an outsider to become the May Queen. That mm-hmm. that maybe adds new blood to the to the society. The well, group. Furthermore, that was part of Pella's um, the mission. cult. The cult. I love how he's just staring at the bear burning. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Look at your fate, brother. Foreshadowing. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So she, this is Siv, this, this is room. one of the village elders. I, she gets her own crib. Uh, no bed, no toilet, 85 chairs, I guess. But uh, he thinks she, he's being called in there to explain himself about the missing book. Yeah. All she wants to know is, what do you think of Maya? Want to fuck her? I know. <laughs> yeah. That's the weird you, part. You she's know? like, she's 15 now. You've been approved. You're, you're a good astrological mix. Right. And, um, you know. She, she's got her eyes on you. Yeah. Like, there's even a couple scenes earlier in the film uh, when they're doing that little dance. She just kind of kicks him a little bit, mm-hmm. you know? And, of course, I think Danny noticed. But uh, Oh, yeah, without you know, a doubt. The chick always notices. Yeah. But, um, you, know, she, you know, he's like, well, I'm here with someone. I'm like, well, she doesn't have to know. So yeah. that kind of leads me she, to believe she that... She says it's a one-time thing. It's not right. like you're getting married or nothing like one-time that. One-time offer, one-night offer. Mm-hmm. Um, but when she says, you know, Danny doesn't have to know, that also leads me to believe that maybe it was planned for her to be May Queen. Right. You know, maybe everyone else is instructed to, you know, take a dive mm-hmm. this year. Um, which I, I think that's what happens. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, like, maybe, I don't know. No, it's got to be. I mean, but she was given that drink. I mean, she could have fell any time she wanted, but, eh, whatever, she's trying to fit in. And, um, poor girl, he said, you know, she says you'll be able to, you know, for your research, you know, it's an experience that, uh, you know, you, 
you really right. you know get a get a you know bird's eye point of view there and of our <laughs> sexual yeah he's like you know can't I get say. the experience without participating but yeah <laughs> I mean you know to give it to him I mean he, he's he's kind of denying. Or, or, or so he's a little saying, hesitant at first. Yeah, saying I don't. He really redeems want a little it. bit of the douchebaggery. Yeah, yeah. But not much. Well, I mean, when you're told, you know, you're you're from America and you're told, you know, hey, the girl's 15 years old. You're, you're right. Gonna be like, she's the age of consent. It's like it's just to conceive a child. It's, you you know, know, you don't have any. She's like, you know, you're not going to marry her. You know, you how be, beautiful you're going to be. Yeah. going, Oh my she god. She even says you wouldn't be. You know, you, you wouldn't. It's not to be married. You know, you wouldn't be approved for that. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, because bitch boy's approved for something else. <laughs> <laughs> You've been approved for a girl. You've been nothing. approved for a new loan. <laughs> I really would like to see some more of those runes and things back there on the wall. I know all these really symbols, wish, man. Because I, I, I just feel like they all mean something now. Well, yeah, it does, it's like yeah. a Kubrick movie. Everything means something. And it drives every you a stick nuts, of furniture man. means something. But he walks out the door. Uh, not really. You don't really know. Yeah, you don't know what decision he made. Yeah. I got a feeling he's going to be DTF real soon. Mm. But he's walking up to the girls who are all still dancing. Yeah, see, this is what I'd be watching. Some I'd be them, watching this, man. They're all in long dresses. I know, but it's cute, man. Look at all dancing around and. Well, yeah, I mean, it's 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 cool. It's funny, uh, Dan, you know. It's so sad because Danny's always looking at him like. Yeah, look still at me. Really trying to, you know. Look, she's smiling. She's having a good time. But he just don't want nothing to do with her. He, yeah, he's a dick. Yeah. I don't like him. Plain and simple. You, if I met the guy, I'd tell him, man. You're Two a dick. girls finally fall. I know. I know. And they have to. It's funny how she, Danny, finally gets to be May Queen. It's like out of happenstance because. It well, seems that way. But yeah. obviously it's not. Right, right. Because right. everything has to go according to plan here. So they're all, I don't know. It was all arranged ahead of time, and that makes it a little wicker manish. Whereas you know, everyone in the community, man, woman, and child, Knew. were in on this yeah. from the beginning. So it definitely echoes wicker man in that way. Right. That you know, everyone in this village, this particular year, because it's the special midsummer festival, right. are in on what has to be done. And you, you know, every ninety years, this yeah. happens. They're going to be in on it. Yeah, he comes in, Christian. You know, he didn't look that redheaded when when the movie started. He's more redheaded. Now. Oh, you think the dye wore off? Yeah, the dye wore off, or maybe the sunlight. Sun bleached him throughout. Yeah. A, maybe. Oh, look! As soon as Christian sits down, look who falls. Oh, Maya, Maya falls. Maya falls. I thought she was gonna like you know imagine a limp or something like that. But you know what? He's not even looking at her. Oh no, no. Well, he they gives keep, her a glance. Yeah, a little glance out of the corner of his eye. Surprised she doesn't like sit right by him. What would have been cool would would have been for them to have the uh, like a big structure like the Wicker Man, mm -hmm. you know, to, for the end scene. <clears throat> I mean, of, of course, this well, the makes barn more sort sense. of is. Well, I mean, it is. I guess but, it'd be yeah. too blatant. Right, but, right, right, right. But you know, it's the um, yeah. Look at her, man. She's like what the last eight. No one's even. He's not even looking at her. No, he's he's looking at God, he, my, over at my. He's such a douche canoe. Yeah. Forget him, man. Speaking I'm of the good. flats, I... Oh, you want to go? I remember... <laughs> you remember when it was at the peak of its... its um, the, In the 90s, we would go down there a lot. Girl, Early 90s? I mean, it would be packed. Everybody would be drunk. There'd be yep. women. Chicks be, everywhere. Oh, flopping their boobs out. Yep. Man, walking it, it was down just the, hedonism down there. And you'd there. be like, what the hell? Yep. Oh, I remember walking so in many the concerts down club there. this one the one time. See the flats in Cleveland. That's a an area down by the the lake. Um, used to be like shipyards a long time ago. It used to just be uh, it was full. You you'd never believe it. Mm -hmm. But like when uh, in the early 1900s, the 1920s during like Prohibition, after Prohibition. Yeah, docks. Um, actually, when Elliot Ness was the safety director mm -hmm. here in Cleveland. Uh, during the torso murders, here you go. I'll tie it back to horror. Yeah. Mm. Um, the flats was all derelict people, homeless people. It was it was a shanty town. Right. And there's pictures of that. A lot of people don't know that. Right. That and and uh, Ness, in an effort, because the torso killer was going after homeless people. Right. Just like serial killers go after hookers and homeless people and think because it's easy. He, uh, very unpopularly, and it ruined his chances of becoming mayor of Cleveland, he um, evicted all of them, brought them, arrested all of them. 
bye bye. And burned it down. Yeah. And he took so much heat in the papers for that and everything. Yeah. But what people weren't allowed to know because the torso murder wasn't really, you know, they weren't putting all the details in the papers. He did it to save all them. He did it to protect them. And, um, but it ruined his political career after that. Oh, yeah. So it's well, kind of interesting. But yeah. what they did later on is turn it into a whole entertainment district. Concert clubs, bars, restaurants. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, larger concert venues like uh, it was called Nautica. Now it's Jacobs Pavilion or whatever they call it now. It, um, it was an awesome place when it first started, but mm, then it go boating. Yeah, but then it got way out of like one of the clubs. I remember, you know, turning eighteen and, and uh-huh. going in there and you know the crazy horse or whatever's down there. Cute little, a cute girl, you know, standing over there with their group of friends, and mm-hmm. it was my first like. She stuck her tongue right down my throat. Yikes. And you I'm just like, met oh. the girl? Yeah. Wow. Well, you know, you're 18. You, you don't know any better. And you're That's just, right. You know, I mean, I don't think I'd ever do that you now. Get you get what you could get. You ain't stuck. Well, I hope not you married. Well, no, I mean, <laughs> plus, I mean, back, you know, those people in the flats, you'd see those girls just throwing up all the time. Oh, and, yeah. You probably tasted you know, some puke, Oh, maybe. God. No, no. Don't Come say here, it. baby. Don't say it. Oh, yeah, they had all kinds. That's when my hair was all gelled and spiked. And you looked hair. cool, huh? When I didn't hit, yeah. They did, man. They had, had some cool some places on there. The Powerhouse. Remember the Powerhouse? Had uh, a restaurant. Had a big arcade. Huge arcade. Yeah. Um, oh, here's where I was talking about in the movie here. When There's just a couple of them left. Mm-hmm. A few, like four left. Th- no, three left. Three left, yeah. And you're like, oh, we understand each other. They're all high. Oh, and, and Danny's the last one. Hey, She's the main queen. They all yeah. do this little thing here. Hey, and Christian did take some of the tea, so he's kind of getting a trip. Yeah, yeah. Going they offered him there. some to lower his inhibitions. That's just what that boy needs. Very unpopular, ruined chance of being mayor. Lots of laugh. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Cleveland Shops is there now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that, that's that's the true story, man. That's that's the true story. What happened to Elliot Ness? I mean, and the reason why he did what he did, it, you know, he did it to save all their lives, mm-hmm. but it ruined his life. Yeah, his at least career. politically, yeah. I mean, because yeah. yeah, really, he came to nothing. After, I mean, he's named after a beer, and most people around here don't even know who the hell he was. He's an American hero, man. I did a report on him in high school. Yeah, Elliot yes, Ness. I did. Yeah. I love Elliot. Cleveland's Ness. got a lot of history. It was a cool it. place back in the day. Yeah, I mean, as long as we're not talking about football. Well, at one point, <laughs> at one point, Cleveland used to be was like maybe the third largest city. Oh, there was maybe a way time. in the er, yeah early. What was it, twenties or thirties? I mean, I, I think possibly. Like that. Possibly. I don't know. Yikes! Ingmar's looking real freaky there. Yep. Um, oh, look at the all the villagers want to give her a kiss. Oh, look, there's her mother just walking by. All the people. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, Pele gives her. He's coming up, man. He's gonna give her a big kiss, man. Look at this. Yep. Ooh. Right on the lips, man. Smack. Mm. You are mine. He looks at her, man. You are mine. You are mine, girl. I don't care what anybody says. Now, here. This is where I want you to pay attention. She's going to stand on this on okay. this dais here, and they're going to carry her. Watch the trees as she goes by, because it's it's for sure. For sure in this scene, this is what it is. Okay. And once you see it, you'll always see it. That's mm. the cool thing about this stuff. Okay. So, look at man. Christian's there. He's not even... They're all singing this beautiful song. She's their May Queen. She's beautiful. He doesn't even care. And he's just back there like, okay, it's my girlfriend taking her away. Yep. Okay, watch the trees, dude, because it's coming up okay. now. Oh, wait, as soon as they pan they're, to the side. They're walking Danny. She's on a pedestal, hovered above everybody. You'll see her sister in the trees. Yeah. Oh, boy. Why her sister? I mean, every time. Her sister was, look, right there. So you can see the eyes, the nose, oh. and there's the tube coming down. Holy crap. Yep. You would never... Isn't that cool? Notice that. Isn't yeah. That, now, now Blend it all... into the, the trees and the forest. Yep. Yeah, wow. Now you'll always notice it. That is interesting. You know, just... Well, she's the impetus for all this. Most it, girls throw up after Ted Easy with the spoilers. Cleveland. <laughs> Let me easy with the spoilers. This is a commentary. I got to spoil <laughs> something. Dude, you should know better. <laughs> we oh, spoil every God. movie. So she's got... She's, are you watching the flowers? Yeah, you see oh, how yeah, the flowers oh, yeah. are all opening and closing? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, Same with man. the food. The food is moving too. Yep. Everything's well, moving. God, Everything's that food's alive. probably got flies all over it and shit. You would think gross. so. Oh, disgusting. I would eat none of their food. They eat what I throw away. Oh, God. <laughs> I 
reviews uh, says the flower effects are insane. That is, it's really cool. And I cool. did not notice her sister before that awesome. Oh, so you saw scene. it, dude, right? You so saw you, it. Yeah, reviews. When I you pointed saw it that? out. Okay. Yeah, that was. Um, I didn't see that. I didn't notice it in the theater till Ted brought, and brought it. And I, I admit, you know, that's not just something I discovered when I was looking up about the movie um, before I watched the director's cut at home. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw it mentioned, and I saw it right away. Yeah. So it's like once you see it, it's there. Once I mean, you know even that, if he yeah. didn't really put it there, shit, I see it. Yeah, yeah. And I really think in the earlier scene when they're in the car, you see something a little similar. Okay. Some people think it is. Some people think it's a stretch. But you know what? Did it's you there. pause it? No. No. Okay. I, I saw it both times because I knew where to look. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that you definitely seen. that. But yeah, the other tree. But that one there, I mean, I think that's very... Oh, that's cool. I mean, because when you're in a theater, it goes too fast. You're trying to follow the story. You don't always notice. Oh, what are they trying to do here? They're trying to give her a fish. Yeah, the May Queen tradition is to try to swallow a, a whole herring in one bite for good luck. Yeah. She couldn't do it. She puts her tongue on it and says, oh, not me. No slimy Look at fish. Christian. Well, he's he's tri- all messed up. He's tripping out from that tea and stuff. Yeah, he's- Yeah, he asks the old dude next to him, excuse me, what's happening to me? And the old dude just claps his hands in his face, man. You're yes. out, man. He claps his hands. He says, wake up. Step out of it. Look, he looks like he's about ready to cry like a little bitch. Oh, God. What's happening to me? I know. I don't like him either, but what are you going to do? Well, bastard mm. what like, is yeah. that food there i don't even know what that is man. i have no it might idea. be human flesh for all i know i know you would like to think it's like chicken or something like that but i have no <laughs> i ain't seen idea. one damn chicken in this whole movie no chicken have you seen any chickens walking around you'd think they'd have chickens what? i ain't seen one chicken no the chickens were you're gonna see is it mark or josh mm. is it chickens all right Maybe yeah underneath Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, and the chicken coop. Yeah, the chicken coop. Oh, God, I'm stupid. Yeah, it's I all right. I admit it. It's all right. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, she's eyeing her up. Yeah, this is where it's all going down, yeah, guys. Yeah, baby. Woo-hoo. I'm going to be balls deep in you. Oh, boy. Look, man, just flagrantly, she just gets up, goes like this, right in front of Danny. Oh, and it's just such a small... How would, what would it be like if you're at a restaurant with your wife and some girl just gets up, looks at you and goes... It's like the, the walks tiniest nod to like come like oh but see you know your woman's gonna notice that well, I, I women would, just notice it guys we're oblivious what I would think so I'm terrible I don't I I get no subtleties usually at no? all and I'll be like what you know my wife will kick me under the table or something like why are you why are you kicking me what's up you know I, <laughs> I'm, did you see that I'm like no why she want me. Hey, look, I mean, he's everybody's digging into whatever this you know meat pie is, and <laughs> I mean, the whole village is that they just see her walking over there. He's staring at her. Eat some head. Look pie. at Danny. I'd be like, you know, this is terrible. Mm. This is terrible. <laughs> Danny, yeah. just just hook up with Pella right now. Look, he, he's drawing some little May Queen picture. Christian is. Yeah, he's a good pie artist. Pie you know, he's got kind of that. Uh, I don't know. He's got kind of like that long hair thing going. and <laughs> Kind of got that long hair yeah, thing I mean, going? Yeah, you know, he looks like he could be in a metal band. Yeah, he could. Oh, uh, well. And the elder is uh, standing up, and yes. she's going to start preaching a little bit more. Well, you know, the, the women are going to do their little tra-la-la thing and take the May Queen on a little a little ride around the village. Right. And yeah. uh, well, that's all just a ploy so, you know, Christian can, you know, in some dip age. it. Inseminate, dip it, yeah. You've got to dip it. <laughs> oh, Batman, and what a scene, too. In oh. Batman, what? Oh, oh, the, oh, the, oh, you mean the balls deep scene? Yeah, yeah. I don't even know how he maintained an erection during that and scene. And Ruben's off into the yeah, corner. Yeah, everybody, everybody watching you? Well, well, we'll talk about it when we All get right. to it, but yeah, it's... Um... I mean, I know you're used to that kind of thing, but I'm oh, not. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is everybody ready? We're pot- about to get this party started. Hey, man, we, we keep yeah. we keep toggling between three and four. Someone keeps going out and in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I ain't even looking at the numbers anymore. Oh, uh, look, look like a little flower girl. She yeah. throws the flowers Like it's down. a wedding. And uh, I do really love this movie. That this, this is, is awesome. This is just my kind of movie. Like, as far as a horror film goes. Is it? I mean, I like yeah. I like that sense of dread that builds and builds and oh, builds, yeah. and then the shocking ending, and 
I was going to say, again, no. as long as this movie is, it, it plays some, out perfectly and it, know, there's and no dull moments. Yeah, some people don't have patience for this, but, you know, just every image is so beautiful. Um. What you know, actor I'm never does bored. he look like, too? He looks like... I'm telling you, he looks like the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy. That is the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy. Where's where's that that Drax guy? The movie with that raccoon and that tree thing. I know, Cud. And he don't look like him. 100%. He looks more like the guy... Uh, I, I, he's in a lot of these teen movies. Yeah, I, that I, dude. I forget his name. Heath Ledger. <laughs> sure. <laughs> By God, I'm so pissed off. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's Star-Lord. They look exactly like they could be twins. Wish I, oh, i pissed that I can't remember the dude's name that he looks like. But he pie looks fucker? exactly like him. No. What? <laughs> American Pie. Pie fucker? Oh. <laughs> Ted Google how to maintain an erection. <laughs> I, know. Oh, God. I, I used a little blue pill. <laughs> I remember I watched a... Look at No, I didn't girl. watch. <clears throat> oh, he's getting ready to... Yeah. Go ahead. I remember I was listening to Howard Stern one time. Yeah. And he had Ozzy on there. And Ozzy was talking about how he's on Prozac. And I can't maintain an erection no more. Can't bone no more. He must have got off that so that he could, you know, hook up with those hairdressers. But... I don't know. You know bless his heart. Yeah, wow. Oh, as the girls are walking by, uh, they're like kind of blessing... Like the the harvest um, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I wanted to look this up. I mean, that looks like grain, and then they put some you know side of beef in there. Yeah. Or maybe it's an organ. I don't know. And they yeah. bury it. <clears throat> looks like they crack an egg. I mean, egg. God, if you just you know rub that all together and put it in a skillet, you got a country fried steak. No. Ah, you burying that good country fried steak. Yeah, a good waste of meat. You Did know that how much a, that'll cost? That's right. Like twenty two bucks. You know what that'll cost you at Cracker Barrel? Yeah. You know what I paid for that? I paid shit for that. In a store, that costs you 20, 22 bucks, man. That's what I get at Cracker Barrel, man. Some chicken Salt fried sand. steak, some greens, some mac and cheese. Two thirty. Hash brown casserole. Ooh. Movie's coming to an end. Don't don't worry, guys. What? Are they getting bored? No, I'm just I'm saying. Who's this? Who getting bored? I don't know. All three of them. You just got John reviews and and, and Felix in there. Well, I'm glad they're staying hanging alive. out. <laughs> I hope they watch the movie. I hope we're not spoiling it too much because it's really worth watching. I mean, it could be that too that nobody's um, watching too. That yeah, maybe. You know, maybe nobody. Like I said, I don't think this yet. was that popular know. of a film. It moves at a very slow pace, and today's younger generation can't tolerate that. What's with the uh, long white, you know, shaggy dog? It's like a spaghetti head. Come, yeah, yeah. Oh, here, take a whiff of this. <laughs> It'll. It, it's a bowl of minus farts. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, what does he say? Um, this will get you, like... It, it's, yeah. Potent. For your, yeah, you're Whatever. potent. So that, this will get you fertile. Gives him, gives him a heart on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he's got his robe on. That's and Danny's though. doing her own little ritual there. They're doing some fire festival. I don't know what the hell they're doing, but... Yeah. Look, you're going to leave the door wide open like that? Let every fly in the land in. Why not? Land it on his ass. I know when I got to the scene, man. And, and did you have to make sure the kids weren't around? I didn't watch it when they were around. Oh, uh, damn right you didn't. But he opens the door. Oh, yeah, open that door. And you see all the women in the background, and, and Maya's just... That's right. And and these aren't, in there. these aren't necessarily hot women back here. You know? No, these are, a couple are okay, but a, a lot okay. of them are... Some got some chunk, which is all right. Older and... I think most of them better looking than the girl laying right there on the mat. What? I you're, thought you would agree with me. You like the older ladies. You're crazy. You like you like the vintage wines. Maya's uh, uh, now she's a wine, a ripe eh. ripe wine. I don't know, man. That color red hair don't do it for me. Oh God, what's wrong with you? Look I mean, at, I like the style. I like the long hair there. Yeah. But I mean, oh, she slowly puts her legs up. Oh and... God. <laughs> Can you do that again? All right, now see, look, look at that. Oh, you, you don't boy. know where the back begins and the ass ends. Boy, uh, the yeah. crack goes all the way up the back. <laughs> and you see Ruben's yeah. way back there. Ruben yeah. gets a free show. What's up yeah. with this shit? Christian. He... Star Lord, butt naked. Butt naked, man. Girls, Full let's get butt naked and fuck. And, and 
again, the girls are, you know, Danny and them, they're, they're going and, place oh, to place and screaming. Something? You sure can. I think this was the, the first movie I've ever seen in a theater yeah. that had full frontal male nudity where nobody laughed. Anytime you go to a yeah. movie and you see some guy schwantz, yeah. everybody starts laughing because we just look ridiculous. Yeah, true. All yeah. right. Look, her nose looks busted. Oh, oh, man, look, they're, they're going to lean in for that kiss. Yeah, come here, you 15-year-old. Oh, yeah, God. that's what we're talking about. She's 20. In the movie, she is 15. I know. He's a pedophile. And he's got a... All the flowers are around her, and oh, she's like Oh, it's beautiful, there. man. She's going to remember this night forever. Oh, well, he's going to He's going to insert himself. Watch our numbers go shooting up now that we're at this part. <laughs> <laughs> People, yeah. Ain't nobody. Yeah, what do you think? They hear it through the, through the internet? <laughs> you know, hey, what, what's going on over there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Heard I, something. I feel it in the internet. Someone's having sex. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, they're all standing around going, oh, It's oh, funny, oh, though. Maya, oh. Maya reaches out for her mom. Is that her mom? Yeah. And her mom gets down in there? But she needs her to come down to kind of help. Christian, because I think he's going lump and lump. Because this is a little too weird for him. Yeah, you're telling me it's weird. Look at this. Everybody's just hanging around here. Yeah, she's talking to her in Swedish. Don't know what the hell she's saying. If I was Christian, I'd just keep plowing, man. Who cares what the hell they're talking about? So I guess it will end 20 minutes before your cut says review. Yeah, mm-hmm. probably. Um, yeah. Yeah, he, he's in the, yeah, he's doing the deed right now with the There we go. Yeah, you know, skip ahead or something. I don't know. Yeah. yeah he's thrusting. Well, because Maya called down the one woman, and she's kind of looking. I think the at mom's him. better looking than the daughter. You know, I yeah, they should get mom down here. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> mom's <laughs> mom's had a few already. <laughs> or at least a good one. Time. Oh, look, man, they're all grabbing their tots. Reuben. Oh, there's how's, Reuben. How's Reuben not you know taking care of business over there? Who he how, looks like John Merrick, man. Do they say who Reuben is? What, you mean actor? Yeah. I don't know. Joe Blow, some kid off the street. I don't think this even... He ain't doing no acting. I don't see... He but... just sits there and looks ugly. But... Actually, he's not an actor. He really looks like that. But That's I, not I, makeup. I'm curious, though, who it is because it, they very, they do look kind of big. Hmm. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. Um, so Danny's done doing all the blessing and stuff like right. that. And... She blessed the whole village. She's and, wondering where's Christian. Yeah, because she's here. She hears a little chanting going on. Yeah, what's going on? And she's over like, what's there? going on in there? Oh, that's not for us. Come on, we're gonna go to Siv. Siv wants to see you in her house. Siv. Uh uh-uh. uh. No, Danny's Danny's not having it. <laughs> no, you should please. You should not go. And, and her last words, she doesn't stop her. Nope. But she does say everybody's looking at her look too. At it, look at it. Well, because this is all part of the plan. She has to see him doing this. Right. In order for, yep, for her yes. to make the decision that she makes. To make Look at it, and this is just like a girlfriend, man. Just, uh-uh. I know exactly. Mm-hmm. That's that women's intuition. Yeah, it's a thing. They just know shit. They just know shit sometimes. Just like, you know, everybody can know shit. But, man, women just know shit. She's just coming. Women. Uh, just women know man, shit. Man, I mean, they got a sense about they, they know what you're doing. Yeah. When, you, when you're fucking around, they know you're doing it. <laughs> Oh God! Story of my uh, <laughs> my my mom would be like, you know, check for hairs on the jacket when, yeah. we, when you know dad would come. I mean, it was all kind of pathetic yep. stuff, but you know, you smell, you don't smell right, you yep. know. And I'm like, oh, what the hell? Yep. What's going on here? Yeah, you can't let that shit fly. Oh, she looks through the keyhole. We don't even get to see what's happening. Yeah. But she sees it. Man, you feel, oh, I feel so horrible for and she her. She runs out and throws up. And pukes it, man. She, well, because she's so upset. And they're all feeling her pain, even though they know what the hell's going on. And this is what kind of tripped me out when I first saw this. Yeah, when she is just screaming. Almost like she was at the beginning of the movie when her, yeah. when her family died. And that's the kind of the... And they're all doing the same thing. That's kind of the thing that hits me in this, too. Like we like we talked in Hereditary. Mm-hmm. Like cer- like when, uh, what's her name, was like arguing and, and hollering at the table at yeah. the sun. Oh, really? Here, this... here the same way with, with the screaming and... Then they all join in, and you see the screaming and the right. They're all m- m- mimicking. Yeah, it's very uncomfortable. Yeah, and she's just you know? looking right at him and screaming. And I'm wondering if she's even wondering why are you all doing this? 
Yeah. And at first I was thinking, you know, they're trying to help her through this. Maybe. You know what I mean? Maybe. But, you know. They're her family now. Yeah, like Sandra. They even say that to her during the May dance. You know, you family at, at the dinner when she's May Queen. Mm -hmm. You know, your family now, your right. family. Yeah. Yeah. But th this scene, it goes on for a little bit, and, and they're just the screaming the and pain how they're. Oh, my is God. It's palpable. Yeah. Good movies, man. Good movie. I'm glad there's at least one person out there making some good movies. Right. Right. Because everything else is just shit. If you give me the two new directors that are the oh, hot ones, like Jordan like? Peele and this one. Jordan Peele. Wasn't that guy what? in Good Burger? Yeah. My point is, the two big guys right now in You used to be on Nickelodeon, right? Yeah. The two big guys right now in horror, like he did Us, Get Out. Okay, I didn't the, see Us, but didn't everybody say there was 8,000 plot holes in that movie? Oh, yeah. Maybe, yeah. I, maybe son needs to go back to school learn how to write a script then. True. All right. But my point is, him and this, Ari Aster, and man, I don't even think I it's think even Ari Aster's close. got a little bit more class. I don't even think it's close. I mean, a lot of people say, you know, Us was such a fantastic movie. Jordan Peele's so great. But well, maybe they should watch it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Granny's getting in there. Gra come on. Come on. Get in there. Granny comes behind. She starts pushing Christian on the ass. Yes. And oh, Maya's telling her to finish, man. Yeah. Blow it in there. <sighs> Just what you like to hear when 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 you're bedding a chick, you know. Yeah. After after you finish, you know, she immediately puts those legs up. Oh, Can you imagine filming? This I know scene? I'm in trouble when that happens. Can you imagine filming this scene and you're on the set though? I mean, how weird. I'm it's sure they have be. as few people on there as possible, you know, to make everybody comfortable. But there's just way too many. people. She immediately goes when he's done. She goes, "I feel the baby." Maybe. Man, I hate when a chick puts her legs up, man. And she yeah. starts rocking. Yep. And, and look, this, he doesn't even put no clothes on. He's just out the door. Well, yeah, I guess he's so shocked at what he just did. I swear to God, man. And boy, he, he Ted do some more Aussie. <laughs> <laughs> I got my tight erection no more cat bone. You know, I met Ozzy in 1991 on the No More Tours tour. Yeah. He did a record signing after the Cleveland Music Hall show. I didn't go to the show. Yeah. Because I was like, I can't remember how old I was at the time. But Metallica was also that weekend. Ozzy was the day after Thanksgiving. Christian's running around all naked right Butt now. naked. Oh, and we're going to see. Oh, sorry. i got to interrupt here. Interrupt myself. He's going to run towards the garden. And he sees Josh's one of Josh's legs latest. just sticking out of the garden. Yeah. Now, what's the point of that? Just that a body part is put into. As and a why is he covering up his dick? I, I don't know at this point. I mean, I he just showed it to every female in the village. I know. And then he's going to run into this barn. Now, this is cool. Got to watch this part. Here's some guy in a robe going, what the fuck you going, boy? <laughs> so there's chickens in here. Is that what betting, you're saying? Betting a chick. Lots of laughs. So betting sorry. a chick. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to find out what happened to Simon. Yep. Christian and, uh, walks into the, uh, the barn. Shed. And there's Simon. Now, this is a... Uh, ancient viking torture right. method called uh eagle wings even anthrax did a song blood eagle wings didn't you hannibal do song? this too i don't know but if you watch here they what they do is they open up your back they remove the ribs from the spine mm -hmm. and pull your lungs out so those are his lungs and if you watch very closely they're still inflating see that well because he's tripping he's still alive no, for sure, he is. You think he's still he is. alive? He is absolutely still alive. In the film, he is still alive. The, well, I know that. Right. He's, he's... No one's tripping. Those lungs are inflating. He's still alive. Oh, my Lord. Yes. And that's that's per the script. Okay. Yep. Well, that's awful. Now, he'll be dead by the time, you know, shit goes down in a little bit. But right Got now, his eyes covered. Yep. I like this here where... They blow that whatever it is into his face, right? And totally makes him like it's some kind of paralyzed. Para paralytic, yeah. Uh, you know, paralyzed, yeah. Natural occurring thing that'll paralyze the like hell. Like he out can of you. see what's going on. Oh, and I like how the one guy comes down and closes his eyelids. Bloop. Yeah, Bloop. Oh, that is such terrible. a cool effect. That's terrible, though. I know. 
Doctor. But yeah, Ted. <laughs> eagle wings, dude. It was it was an actual thing that Vikings did for torture mm-hmm. to people. You know, you'd live a little while, not real long, but yeah, yeah. You'd, you'd die of blood loss. But that was a real thing, and it's an Anthrax song. Like I said, Blood Eagle Wings, real good song. So the one she opens his eyes. Lady opens his eyes. Christian, and can you hear me? Yeah, can you can't me? move. You can't talk. But it'll be okay. <laughs> So Bitch, if you say so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's sitting there kind of in a wheelchair type thing. Yeah, yeah. And they're, they're taking care of him. They're about to this announce. Is it. This is the ninth day. Yeah. Uh, Danny is up on there covered in flowers. in flowers. So what happens on the ninth day of the festival, the most important day of this once every 90 year festival, is the sacrifice. Um, the sacrifice. Review says real quick, yes, he is still breathing, believe it or not. It is called something and is a real torture. Wow. Yeah, uh, yeah, eagle wings, dude. Yeah, eagle wings. Eagle, eagle wings, wings is what it was called. Real real method there. Jeez. I, you know, maybe they should do it to child molesters. So. Look at the size of this sheep that Reuben is shearing. Damn. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> He's got a bunch of wool there. Yeah, no. Oh, look at Maya, man. He, she paints herself up like a whore after she gets some. <laughs> they're gonna play this epic game of bingo <laughs> that's weird <laughs> they got the bingo machine they're gonna pick that. sacrifices and right. i guess their names are on these right. little ball things so uh nine have to be sacrificed oh we have... thank you Ace oh, fan. thank you um dino and ted 2020 and, and and tell you man the guy puts a lot of work into the show so thank you you could use uh, it that's right um, because God knows I ain't seeing none of it. Doesn't matter. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's been there's to be nine sacrifices that they explain. Yeah. Uh, two have already happened. The elders. Yeah. Now, even though their bodies are burned, there will be uh, like effigies of mm-hmm. their bodies placed into that big yellow building back yonder. Yeah. And. Then Look we at have, Christian just sitting there in the wheelchair. I know, man. He's pitiful. <laughs> Can't move. Then the uh, the other four uh, strangers, mm-hmm. and they're like, thank you. You know, I mean, you've, you know, thank you to Pella for bringing in new blood that we needed, you know, for our bloodline and for four additional sacrifices. So right. that's six. Um, seven and eight are Ulf. And Pella's brother Ingmar, who have volunteered themselves right for this occasion willingly, they have no problem with. And Ingmar is the one that brought Simon and Connie. Right. What a waste. Now Pella had the bigger job to bring in new bloodline. Right. right. You know, it had to be a certain type of person. You know, uh, Simon's a little darker in color. Connie is a little darker in color. They probably weren't going to be picked for that purpose right so because uh, it looks like they try to stay pretty pure over here as yeah, far as Swedish one blonde, look. blonde hair yeah, yeah. Light complexion. It had to be somebody fair I think yeah. so for the ninth and final uh, there is Christian the last of the outsiders oh, God. and they do oh, a lottery that. choice yeah and they you know someone gets picked as, as the lottery choice and they're excited man when they get picked like excited and it is up to the May Queen to make the decision. Right. And yeah. she never says a damn word, and I just love the scene. And they get a they slowly pull in on Christian's mm-hmm. face. Because this is the wish fulfillment oh, aspect the, of the film we're talking about. Yeah. When you go through a bad breakup, you loved someone and they hurt you and they've left you and you're despondent. Right. And you go through that phase where you rip up the letters and everything, and you throw. Mm-hmm. I mean, we all did that way back when. Right. And you get. I mean, I don't have a picture of any ex girlfriend, <laughs> except like that might be like in a high school yearbook or something right, like that. Right. I don't have any picture. I mean, you know, you get rid of everything. That's what I always do. Yeah. That was always my thing. I purge. Can't I get, get rid, rid of, of all nothing. of it. Like I've got a whole Disney Disney World vacation. Yeah. It's all just pictures of me. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I've got a whole album of great pictures, but one person's not in them. <laughs> so And so we don't see she doesn't say anything, but boy do they zoom in on Christian, you know. Are you talking about Logan's run? What what what? This is what John says, are you talking about Logan's run? I don't think so. No, but you know what? 
That was one I seen that. That was the first movie I ever seen in the theater, and I was. So oh, do they do that like a sacrifice? Yeah, because so don't they get to a certain tiny. age and? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I've never it's seen very Logan's Run, dude. I wonder how that would hold up now. It's been know. so long that I've seen it. But they're they're all taking the bodies now. Yeah, look at you know you see Pella wheelbarrowing somebody like he's not wheelbarrowing a body. Yeah. There's Mark all dressed up and all their bodies are just like stuffed with plants. So well, it's really just the carcasses. Well, yeah, that's true. Oh, for the most part, yeah, they are. Yeah. Um, I think all of them are. Look, they're all just taking them straight over. Well, there. some of them, like the one's got branches going through its mouth mm-hmm. and out its arms and stuff like that, and the inside of this has got. Those big yep, yellow the same symbol. symbols, like at, like like at the table they were sitting. I'd like to know what that meant. I should have done a little bit more research, maybe. Yeah. So yeah, they they it's oh god, it's completely flammable in there. I'll tell you that much. Well, yeah, there's straw everywhere, so yeah, you, you know they're gonna burn it. But... Oh, there's Pelly. He's picking. Up. I think this is Connie. He's picking up. Yep. Connie, she disappeared. Mark. Remember, right. and there is a part in the movie when she dis when she goes off. There's a part where you do hear some faint screams in the background. And that's her being killed, I believe. Ted don't need a pick because they're still duct taped. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> oh, look Let's at see. And there's, yeah, there's Simon Josh and, and there's Josh. Simon. And they're dressed up really weird. It they're looks in ceremony freaky. robes. This is an effigy, I believe, of uh, one of the elders. Yeah. The uh, one because, with the branches that yeah, are coming out of the arms. And there's the other one. Like, I don't believe that's actually skin of any person or a real person. I think those are just effigies of... The two elders yeah. that have, you know, maybe some of their ashes are put. I have no Past idea. or something, yeah. But they were burned. So I, I remember I was trying to think, who are those other two people? Right, right, but right. I, that's what I, yeah. I didn't look it up, but that's just my, what I, my opinion. And then you get this, you know, they go into the little sh- shack where the dude's carving up uh, the big bear. Yeah, what of the bear? Taking the insides all out of the bear. Yeah, he's telling the kids, like, you know, be showing careful them. when you cut the intestines. Showing them how to do it. Don't puncture them. Like, yeah. what that shit's the point? You're going to burn it anyway. Yeah. Well, well yeah. I guess if you nick, it, you nick it, you'll get that shit smell. So. True. That's what happens. Yeah. But. I know that from surgeons when I, you know, yeah. when I used to work on a surgery for you. If you nick the intestines, it's going to smell like somebody farted in the OR, and that's when they know somebody made a mistake. Mm. <laughs> you got to look for where it is. Yikes. I look, Christian's just in there, man. He's just he's awake. He can't move. And they plop him right up on the table and yep. lay him next to the bear, and you get an overhead view of it, knowing that he's going inside that bear. God, they got to like crack all those ribs out or something. How are they going to stuff his ass in there? Well, yeah, well, they're going to have to break those ribs. Yeah. Oh because, my god. Because the next <clears throat> is him. What a great action figure that make. Him in the bear suit, sitting in the barn. Mm-hmm. And there's also those two other guys who volunteered. Yeah. And, and somebody comes in with some kind of thing to put in their mouth. Oh, I like this with you. I'm sorry. Oh, no. With you, we purge our most you know unholy affects. See, he's going to represent all and every bad thing about them. Right. And burn it away. And yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. You were saying they were... Yeah, take from the yew tree yeah, and feel no a, pain. Must be something narcotic. It don't do a hell of a lot of good, I'll tell you that. Oh, no, because this dude... Uh, um, Ulf. Ulf. That's Ulf, man. Yeah, he, he's, as soon as that fire hits him... Oh, yeah. He is screaming to death. I, I feel sorry for Ingmar. Oh. I mean, it, it's so and the alien to us that someone would... Look, at volunteer. least here for something like this. Well... You know, I mean... You've seen the cults with... Um, what was the space one? The, the guy said the UFO would be coming. Yeah. And they were all... They all just... Michelle Nichols' brother was one of those guys. Uhura from the original Star Trek. Really? I think her, her brother was one of those guys. Oh. Huh. Now see, but you just got to wonder how people buy into that. Now, this is different. This is how they've always lived, and this is how they always will live. And So that's a little bit different. You know, it's... It's not Ted. a cult that someone just joins. This is just how these folks live. They, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, you know, it's it's their spiritual belief. Oh, and, and that, that view and that picture oh, of Christian sitting there in the bear suit, yep. and they 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 put it all up in flame. Light it the, up. The place is going to go up. And the people that just but, willingly give of themselves to go and be in there, young guys, 
You know, they don't even take any of the 73-year-olds that are going to jump off the cliff tomorrow. And look at Danny's face. Oh, you yeah. can see the hatred. That mixture. And it, the, the, her mixture facial expression despair. will change. Yeah. But. No, no. Uh, what, what, Ted, when it comes to cults and stuff, man, that's what they do. They prey on the weak. But that's not what this I'm, is. I'm not saying that this. This is very different than that. Though. Well, this is. But, but you're, I mean, I know all about that other thing. Well, yeah. When you ask a just question, a little but different. you asked a question. No, it's just it, it's just the matter of, of the you know being willing to offer yourself like that. Well, if they believe, and to be happy to do it. If they believe, it's such a different way of thinking. Is what look I'm at seventy seven virgins. Is that what it is? Virgins. If you give uh, your life up for you know uh, Allah or whatever. But anyways, um, I mean, hey, where does it say that? I'd like to see that book. In the Quran, I guess. Yeah, that's I what they say. I doubt it, though. But yeah, it's it's going up in flames. <laughs> um, ain't that nice? That, that just puts that just put, makes a real good opinion of women, there, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, look at Ingmar. Just what if a woman over. gives herself up? She gets seventy-seven men. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, is it just? I, mean, I don't know if you'd want seventy-seven. This dicks is just in your men. Face. Oh, Harry, here. <laughs> well, you, you know, I might. What, it, Look at it, ah, uh, hot damn, hot damn. <laughs> while those two are burning in that yeah. sacred temple, everybody on the outside, they're feeling the pain. God. And, and Looks like a church on the east side of Cleveland on Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's listening. It doesn't matter. It's midnight. They're sleeping. <laughs> oh, my God. But, but all of the... People out there are, are feel like, yeah, like they're feeling his pain. Yeah, yeah, the pain of the people burning. Oh, and look even, at her! Like, get this goddamn flowery dress off me. Even Danny is just like a lugging. She's doing along, it too, man. Man, she's feeling it too. Yeah. Oh, so cool. And she had such a hurt look it? on her face. Oh yeah, yeah, I do. Coming from my. Are those from your earbuds? Oh man, Pella's down there screaming like a banshee. Where's that coming from? I don't know. Look at everybody's. Uh, you hear it, right? Bugs on me. Yes, I do. Look at it. All these people are crazy. That's so weird. I'm hearing it. I'm hearing them screaming and stuff like that, but I have no idea where it's coming from. Because no. the this is all. I don't know what to tell you, man. What the fudge? That's weird, guys. Anyway, seventy-seven men yeah. or just one, Ted? Yeah, I don't know. <gasps> oh boy. Oh, and then, you, yeah, you had Danny. Her expression totally changed. She's going to get a little smile on her face going here. Yeah. And that's it, man. You know she's there to stay. Women scorned. She's, yeah. You know, even though it was, you know, according to what I read, Ari kind of going through this. Mm -hmm. you, know, he, he, you know, because you have to give it to, you know. You couldn't have a movie where a guy smile. gets to burn his ex-girlfriend. Yep. There's that, that ain't allowed to happen, but... The bitch can, can, you know, burn up her ex-boyfriend. That's all right. Look at that big smile on her I face. I know. Look at Danny That's okay. That's around. acceptable. Can, can, I, can I burn a woman in the movie? No. Can't do that. No. In the 70s, I could, but can't do it now. Jeez. I know somebody say, why would you want to? But... And that that's it. And that's it. <laughs> and that's, that's the movie. That's the show there. Ari Aster, written that's and directed. Right. And um, We yeah. made it. Boy, that, yeah. For our last show. Three hours. I think the last one we did for three hours was... Salem's Lot, I think. Was it Salem's Lot? Yeah. Yeah? I think Salem's Lot. Or did we do a Mad, 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 I think Mad, we did Mad, that. Mad, 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 way before? Yeah, I think we did that before. Okay, so Salem's Lot was our last three-hour commentary. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean... Mm, mid, that's a day's work. Midsummer, uh, you know, this was a long one. And, you know, I don't know if people just... Didn't want to hear, they don't want to hear about a newer movie, or a commentary, or what was well, going on. But we don't do newer movies. We do older movies. I mean, you well, can't make nobody happy. What, what should we do? Ten minute reviews, uh, real quick now. Isn't that what they like? I don't know. Big ten minute review. I don't know. Maybe I could bring over some Blu-rays and just open them in front of you guys. I mean, well, thanks for everybody who showed up. <laughs> thank you, a '80s horror fan. Thank you very yeah. much, there, John. I appreciate it. Uh, reviews. Appreciate you sticking through the whole movie, man. Uh, Felix, for stopping by. Yes, because that was a long one. Um, I understand. And everybody, oh, yeah. Some no, people got to work tomorrow. You three know. hours? Come on. I mean. I got the know. day off, so that's why I do it. It's but. impressive to stick around for three hours. So. Most impressive. Uh, review says, I need pizza. <laughs> it's what I had to eat before I came over here, dude. <laughs> 
Yeah, hey, sounds good to me. Little man. Caesars pepperoni stuffed crust, best in town. Yeah. I swear to God, you wouldn't Pizza think so. Pizza sounds awesome. It does. Oh my God. You wouldn't think that sounds good from Little Caesars, but yeah. theirs is like the best stuffed crust around. Uh, but hey, if you've made it this far. And they got a machine. You oh. order it online, you just go to this little machine and pull it out. Yeah, you it's already talk for to you. nobody. It's already You're going to talk to those Arabs behind the counter? Nothing. No, you're fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, yeah, if you've made it this far already, then check out the links below. You're a lunkhead like the rest of us. Check out the links below. My kind of people. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm saying that. He, yeah. If you don't know by now. Yeah. All I can say is thanks for another long commentary. That's right. And... See, this would Love be more this fun movie. if you Love drink this alcohol movie. and we could get drunk while we Oh, doing. I'm not getting drunk. Let's get Toa. I'm pure of heart. Okay, you can be pure of heart. Just I got a festival coming up this weekend. You know, be, uh, be poor of liver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Little Caesars is bottom of the barrels. This <laughs> it is, but their pepperoni stuffed crust I agree with is you. really good. I agree with you. My yeah. wife brought it home. I tasted it. I was like, I'm talking stuffed crust pizza, not pizza in general. You're talking Let's, to Ted. He comes from. Uh, listen, I know pizza. He in comes my, from the Appalachians. Let's I know just pizza say that. in my area. And All he's right? wearing a Superman shirt that's disintegrated. The 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 the, the, the stuffed crust at Little Caesars yeah. is better than the stuffed crust at other restaurants at other pizza joints. No, Papa John's, Pizza Hut, especially mm. all them places. Now pizza, no, no. You get Angelo's, you get yeah. We we got some good pizza joints in the area. I mean, Don't, what Angelo's Pizza? The, Tom Hanks was even there. Hey, he we comes have, every year. We have a little diner. I think we talked about this in the past. Uh, right up at the corner, up Charlie's there. Restaurant. It's like an old '30s, '40s diner. It's still around. They serve breakfast and stuff. Tiny little. How place. many people can sit in there? A dozen people, maybe. If that. Yeah. And uh, Liam Neeson filming his new film. Um, Last week, Minuteman uh, is filming right in the Cleveland area. Right there, right down two it, minutes from here. Yeah, Not two even. minutes from here. He was he was in that little diner um, shooting a scene. I hope they show the outside of it. I hope they do. Too. I don't think they will because it's got like two big hound dog things on the. But front that's what it. makes it the character. How much you want to bet they place? Won't. I mean, I want to see the Mister Hero in the background and yeah. <laughs> China Jade down the plaza. I hope so, man. <laughs> There's no local pizza. Pizza, please, in Cleveland. Oh, yes, there is. Are you kidding, dude? There's there's local pizza places that are good everywhere. You just got to uh, find see. them. West side of Cleveland, try Athens. Athens Pizza. Ted's a kind of sewer of pizza. Um, in our area around here. A kind of uh, sewer. Fratello's Pizzeria. Kind delicious. of Delicious. And Cos- Lakewood, mm-hmm. you, you, know, you got Angelo's and you got Dewey's. Both are top notch. Top notch, yeah. Look. Angelo's is... Probably Dewey's has favorite. more than one location. Angelo's is just one. There's always a wait to get in there. Probably my Mondays, favorite. half price off if you eat inside. Boston has great pizza. Every city has great pizza if you find the you right find pizza them. place. Fratello's is my favorite. I mean, every local, you know, there's families who've been doing it forever who's off yeah, in the get, a, get away path. from the chains, you know. Oh, hell yeah. The chains yeah, are man. no good, man. You got to go to the little mom and pop places. Yep. And, and, uh, you know, just take a stab and you go find something. Like, that's how I found Fratello's. Yep. It used to be an Arthur Treacher's. <laughs> Arthur Treacher's, that's right. Yeah, yeah. But hey, it's getting late here, man. It's yeah, hitting midnight. I gotta and hit the day. Appreciate you all for joining us. I mean, appreciate you for joining for us. Joining us. And um, that's right. yeah, much love to you guys. And until next week, <laughs> I hope <laughs> we'll see. Um, <sighs> oh my God. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for joining us, you guys. Uh, let's see. They have uh, Zaz Pizza here. Awesome. Never heard of it. No. And with that said, peace out, you guys. Take care.